Well, here we go. According to the pattern, this is supposed to be one of the good ones. Here's hoping. Uh, I, so I waited until this came out to, uh, I, I wasn't sure if I was going to get it or not. And, uh, I did, obviously. I heard mostly good things about it, and honestly what it came down to is I, I just needed something to play. So, we're going to try it out. I'm going to be hurrying a little bit. Because, again, my goal is to get through this quickly enough to uh, have something to play on my own. I'm not going to mash through text or anything. Not going to be in that big a hurry, but uh, people seem to like it. As would be in line with the pattern. Hello, Darian. And I have... I've managed to stay mostly blind for this. I watched Vinny's first stream of it, which so I, I've, I've seen about two hours. I've seen the tutorial. Every Pokemon game needs a two-hour tutorial. That's just, that's standard. And as usual, I, just, I like playing as female characters in Pokemon games. Jack has not gotten, uh... Jack said he plans on getting Violet if he plans on getting one. He's still undecided. Rock Lee. There's a lot of very uh, gender-neutral hair options. Tussled crop. spending too long on this, I know. I kind of like the bob, and I kind of like the, uh... You know what? Slick back. Oh, what are, our, what are our weird options? Does this have the toothpaste hair? I know there's a character with the toothpaste hair. <laughs> I can be old. I can also be Cyrus. One of the things that, uh, Darian, how are the audio levels so far? One of the annoying things about these kinds of games where, uh, you can't... It, it launches immediately into, like, a menu or a startup sequence. I can't just, like, go to a menu and, uh, try out audio levels or anything. Which is kind of annoying for streaming. Because I kind of need to be able to go in and test out audio levels beforehand. Can't do that with this game. With most Pokemon games anymore. Boy, these all look almost identical. I'm sure. Oh, there's a lot of stuff we can do. Boy, they give you the full... It, it's nice that they give you the full characterization from the beginning. I can't, you know what? I'm gonna go total dark. It makes me look like an old anime character. On one hand, it, this this will give me like less to look forward to as I uh, I go through the game and I find new parlors or whatever whatever the equivalent is. Last gen, we had to kind of work out our character as we went through the game. This one that gives you pretty much everything immediately. Be funny if you can make your skin scarlet or violet like everything else. I have been told that the pants are, uh, are, are version limited. You're stuck with whatever pants you've got. I think scarlet is orange pants. So, uh, we're not changing, we're not gonna be able to change that. I feel like I wanna go for like a, like a 80s anime kind of look. And I'm trying to get what captures that best. Even older, these kind of look, look like, uh, Doraemon character eyes. Yeah, 
eyebrows. I, it is better that you can do the whole character immediately. Because otherwise, as happened in the last game, we spend the whole game... <laughs> we, we played as three different characters, trying to slowly work towards what we wanted the look to be. We got Lyoko eyebrows. <laughs> we got real thick Satsuki eyebrows. Oh, that's kind of Lyoko. Not that I'm necessarily making that kind of character, but... Uh... Kind of like sad eyebrows. I, I don't need Groucho Marx eyebrows. Y'all can just go ahead and skip to, uh, I don't know, five minutes into the video. Too bad they don't let you put on glasses until you get your hat. I, I kind of hate that all the hair colors are set individually. I could have like three completely different colors for uh, hair, eyelashes, and eyebrows. You know, you know what I accidentally ended up making? I accidentally made a sort of uh, li she looks like Luz Noseda, a, a whiter Luz Noseda. You know what? That's fine. I, li I like Luz's design. You don't need lipstick. I don't. I don't like the. I don't like the lipstick. And a beauty spot. What? <laughs> Why not just let me place it manually? Do you need every single combination? You freckles. You know what? Sure. I like that. She looks spunky. It's gonna be our new champion. Uh, select. There are only seven places a beauty mark could be. Otherwise, it's not beautiful. That's what makes it a beauty mark, is being in those specific seven places. All right. We are going to Orange Academy, which is kind of strange because this is... Pokemon Scarlet. Is it the same school name in Violet? I know this is based off of, uh, th this region is based off of Spain, correct? Noranya. And once again, Pokemon games are not allowed to have voice acting. Just read the t read the subtitles on the bottom. Oh, I'm sorry. It, it's going. I, I have to. Okay. You know what? In that case, taking lessons from tradition, growing stronger and greater. It's time for you too to dive into the world of Pokemon. That's it, we just get the two lines? Okay. Paldi is a sprawling region bursting with lush nature and magnificent landscapes. It is also, of course, home to the mysterious creatures known to us as Pokémon. They reside here in, gr in great numbers, in fact. That looks like a, a knockoff mon. That looks like something that someone predicted was going to be in gold-silver in 1998. Pokemon can be found living all over, in the seas, in the skies, even in our cities and towns. Never heard this spiel before. We coexist. Yep, some of us battle with our partners. <laughs> Brock, in the top right. I like how some of these bother with fades and some of them are just smash cuts. It's like they all they do all have a script. Which you know I make fun of because, you know, all of us are obviously coming back to the franchise, but 
It's also the case that, like, every new... Every Pokemon generation is someone's first generation. Believe it or not, there are people who love Gen 4. It's crazy. Them chunky for <laughs> I saw things loading in in the cutscene. So is this pre-rendered? I, I would assume it has to be something like this, but I see things like loading in and out. I am well aware of the the uh, graphical complaints about this game, and it's true. They suck. This shouldn't be happening. I'm not defending them. It's not something I don't especially care about. The main reason that I've always played these games was the National Dex. Which this game still doesn't have, and I knew it wouldn't. As predicted, it took one generation for people to more or less move past that. So now we're just on the on the Pokemon games that just won't have every Mon. Although this one does... How many does this game have? It's like 700? Or is that shooting high? Nah. I'm good. Four hundred. All right. I don't remember. How much did... Sword Shield ended up with more after the DLC. I don't remember how much it started with. Alright, very important. First thing in a Pokemon game. What books do we have? Oh. I, I, apparently I care more about the shelves than what's on them. Adventure guide. Should probably save first thing. Options. Fast text. Why is this not default yet? You can not to be prompted to teach Pokemon new moves. Who would turn that off? Or who would turn that on? Okay. You can choose whether you want nicknames to be... Okay. Options are good. I don't see, I don't know who these options are for, but options are always good. Autosave. Mm. Well, okay. I will autosave for now because I have had Switch games crash before. Even good Switch games, like Smash Ultimate. <laughs> Skip cutscenes. Controller rumble. Oh, I'm uh, I'm back to the good old Procon. Haven't used this since. <laughs> Maybe Sword Shield. We're back to a much more normal menu. I see. The previous game had that one that took up the entire screen. What was that? A camera. Okay, we have a camera. I think we had that. In Sword Shield. Walking at a very leisurely pace. I, I know, but I haven't watched the trailers. I watched the first one, so I'm aware of the starters. I was, I have not followed leaks, so I don't know their evolutions. I do know that Weed Cat stands up. That was, uh, impossible to avoid. You might want to cool your engines before you go racing out the door. The school contacted me and said that you're supposed to wait here a little while longer. Their words, not mine! That That's my only Spanish voice, and it's halfway to Italian. So, uh, she's getting it. No one else in this game will sound Spanish. Yeah, Waluigi. The mom's Waluigi. 
Zelrog, get the door, would you? Wah! Alright, do forgive the intrusion. Imagine if she sounded like Consuela. I could do Consuela. That's Mexican, not Spanish, but I could do Consuela. The only two, like, Mexican voices that are Spanish-derived voices are both Mexican. I can do Consuela, and I can do Cheech Marin, and that's it. That's all I got. I'm sorry if I'm skipping text. I, I, again, I watched the first two hours. I watched the tutorial. I know this. Even if I hadn't, it's a Pokemon game. I'm responsible for the entire academy. The, the director, the dude, the guy who runs the school came to our house. That's, I, I don't know, do principals do that at boarding schools? I've never been to a boarding school. All right, have this bag. No need to trouble yourself. I've got a thing or two to discuss with the director here. Why don't you head back up to your room and finish getting ready for school? Okay. Simply must join me for a cuppa. Is that just a thing people say in Europe? I just, I kind of assumed it was just an English thing after the last game. Do I have running? I cannot, I cannot seem to press a button to run. Where did they go? Oh, there they are. Off you pop! There is no run button, you unlock it later. Okay. Push the stick and you run. Just once, right? You you click it and then you run forever? I don't have to hold it down, right? Also, why was that a tr No, I'm not ready. I'm gonna stay in the room forever and not start my adventure. Like I said, I'd like to get a good, through a good chunk of this game, so I am going to be streaming pretty long today. I'm probably going to aim for like five hours. Let's see how long I can take it. I don't like this stupid hat. I want to take the hat off. Boy, uh, I, again, I watched Vinny's first stream of this, about two hours of gameplay. Two hours of tutorial. And boy, did he make his character look like a... look like a little twat. It's kind of hard to avoid with this little... this little European schoolboy outfit. Alright, director's got something important for us. Three important things. What starter did you guys choose? Sprigatito. I don't know anyone besides Vinny who picked the duck. Who picked the- did anyone pick the duck? Time to come out of your balls. Oh, he's got- he's fancy. He's got premier balls. So what's this thing where you can only carry six Pokemon? Because he seems to have six, but he just threw out three more. Alright, we got uh, Weed Cat. Yoshi. I've been calling him Yoshi, but you're right, he does look like Bubble Bobble. And, uh, Duck. Who I have seen compared to Josuke. That's that's about it, because he's got a pompadour. Alright, and miraculously. All the Pokemon are just they love you. You never play an unlikable character in a Pokemon game. 
Oh, that's right. He's just he's just gonna leave them here. Ah, uh, don't no hurry. Just decide on your own. I'm sure they'll those three will be fine with you. If you'll excuse me. Ash Ketchum was the only person who was not liked by his original Pokemon. Don't mess with the formula. And this... I, I see things popping in, in and out. Alright. And this, this is when little Zelrog abandoned school and just ran off with these three one-of-a-kind Pokemon. Alright, we have a map app, we have a phone. Ever since Sun Moon, we've had to have a Rotom phone. We got pumpkins. Here's our map. Using the map app information, blah blah blah. Flying taxis? You can go to some places you visited before. You have it from the start of the game in this one. So, uh, where's Tomato Town? The Great Crater of Paldia. I'm sure that'll be important. West... Oh. Wait, down is west? Yeah, okay. So this is not... Hold on, let's, let's orient this correctly. There's north. There's west. And where are we? So we are in southwest Paldia. Something along those lines. We're in the very south. We're at the, the butthole of Paldia is our starting location. Oh my god, can we please unlock running? Hmm? I'm trying to see that flower pop in. Yeah. Something's something's popping in. So uh when when are we getting that switch to? That coming soon? I would be I would be upset walking behind this person in the grocery store. Oh, there we go. Wait, what happened? I just... It just happened. Out of nowhere. There was no text? No trigger? I, it was it because I started going downhill? Is my character so dumb that he just learned how to run by going down a hill for the first time? Sorry, she. There's, there's the fat guy talking about the power of science. Every Pokemon game's got one. Anything cool popping in around here? So it's got some weird frames when we look up this hill here. Some cool frames. I, I, I'm sorry, I don't want to linger on this too much because every single streamer is going to be doing that. I'm just here to play the game. This is a much more gender-neutral Zelrog than our previous one. This is where we learn about types, because we don't know anything about types. Don't forget you can take off the hat. When when can we take off the hat? All right. Yes. These are my Pokémon. I own them. She has yet to make her choice. Press left on the D-pad when the tutorial is over. I have been told about their signature moves. I've been told mixed things. 
someone told me that Weed Cats was broken. Because it, uh, it always crits, and I think it is a guaranteed hit. Then I heard a differing opinion that it, well, it wasn't that great, so I don't know who to believe. Is this, is this who I think it is? Yep, I'm, I'm the new student. Boy, I love school. Love being in school. Can't wait to go back to school. Gonna be fun, fun, fun times here at Pokemon School. I'm Nimona. She's gonna be talking a lot, so I'm not gonna give her a funny voice. It's gonna get old too fast otherwise. I live in the school dorms, but home is here. What do you say, new neighbor? Wanna be friends? Everyone likes Pokemon Trainer. I'm never going to start a game and walk into someone f holding a gun to my head like Ash Ketchum does. But Ash Ketchum is a trooper. What a hero. He was the one who had the uphill Pokemon battle, not like us losers. Alright, we'll have to be in the same... She's battle crazy. She's a Saiyan. We're gonna be neighbors and classmates. We can battle all we want. All right. Yeah. No, no notices. Oh, I can do it now. I think. Yeah, here we go. All right. Uh, I have multiple uniforms. I have the summer uniform. Pants. Pinstripe. That's, that's kind of styling. I like those pinstripes better than the, the spring ones. I don't know, that one looks kind of dorky. School gloves. School just gives out gloves. It's nice that we can do this anytime. I can run around in a helmet. Oh, it looks like uh, it looks like Krillin's police helmet. Now, nah, just I'll go without. Can I remove the backpack? No, I cannot. Go without socks. Probably inadvisable, but whatever. And I have rimmed glasses that I can choose to wear. Nope. Alright. Oh, whoops. Boy, I haven't had that button in so long. No, I'm good. I can change my whole appearance at any time. That's nice. I like that. All right, little, little dinosaur fella. I know you're actually a crocodile, not a dinosaur. I'm kind of disappointed by that. Fue coco. Sorry, Jack, you're too late. <laughs> Everyone picked Weed Cat. Oh, God, I don't have a name for him, though. I can change names whenever, right? You know what? I have a I have a I have a keyboard. It's not easy to reach, but I can reach it. Ugh. Hold on. Ugh. I'm going to call him Little Red. Surprise, it's fe Did I get a female one? I wasn't paying attention. I assume that's still a one in eighth chance. Nicknaming, mover learning, and all that are in the menu. That's nice. 
Man, I remember Gen 1, we didn't even have a move to leader. Yes, this is my first po- I know nothing about Pokemon, Professor. I am an ignorant bab. Please teach me the ways. I can't believe you actually chose Fuecoco. Any performance issues yet? Well, yeah, obviously. There's no chance it's not happening. We've had stuff like uh, clipping in and out in the background the whole stream. I think I saw one just there. I didn't see what it was, but... Some weird lighting going on. The graphics are a mess. It's just not something that uh, I care too much about. Now, Game Freak is a very is a small indie studio. Anyway, they're doing their best. All right, we have to battle. Miss Nimona is a tad overly fond of Pokemon battling. I do hope you'll join her for a battle. I think this beach is a place that has some performance issues. Let's see what we can... Uh, see what we can get. Can we get some frames? Hmm... There we go. Oh, sorry. I got distracted. Wow, you're tall. Anyone can be... Yeah, yeah, I've heard it before. It's easy to say anyone can be a Pokemon trainer when you're talking to, talking to me. I wonder if she would say that if she met Ash. Season 1 Ash, let me be specific. Miss Nimone. Get ready for the frame rate to be a third of that. All right. So I have seen this. Nimona here is uh, basically our character in every other Pokemon game. She is a Bab, who is a, ch a champion class trainer. I don't know if that means she is the champion. Apparently it's just a group now. It, there's not one champion, it's a champion class. I guess having one championship was just was too competitive. Okay, now can I switch moves on the battle screen again, or is that still still gone? Wow, you're a genius! You know about super effective moves! Yeah. What do you suppose the demographic is for these games? Because it, it... Characters talk to you like, you know, you're five. But... I don't think a five-year-old would be able to play a game with this much reading. So it, it, it's just kind of, it's a little confusing to me. Yep, I, I am, I am a toughie. I'm a super good Pokemon battler. Pokemon trainers are like Saiyans. The further you go down the bloodline, the easier it gets to be the best. To the point that, like, a couple generations down, you can just trip and turn into a Super Saiyan. Nowadays, we got... Uh, is, the, is the EXP share always on in this game? Uh, it, yeah, let's fight soon. Whatever.
I remember that was a controversial feature in Sword Shield, but I believe it could still be turned off in the options, the EXP share. Oh, there was the mention of the clamp champion class trainer. Yes, I have a smartphone. I have a Rotom phone. These are mass-produced now. Alright, we now have a Pokedex. I will probably make some attempt to uh, fill out the Pokedex in this gen. I think I made some attempt in the previous one, but uh, I did not get the DLC, so... Filling out a Pokedex by hand? That was my dream, but I'm too old. I want you kids to fulfill my dream for me! So don't answer this. I don't want to be spoiled. I'm wondering if this gen has a proper Pokemon professor, or if this is the guy. A Clavel isn't a type of tree, to my knowledge, is it? Alright, we're, we're gonna walk to school with Big Sis Nimona. Nimona! Clavel is a type of old man. I see. Yeah, he can keep the duck. No one wants him. I also remember in the advertising for this game, it was promoted that there would be different routes to go down. Like, the battle championship was not the only way to play the game. You could also go for, like, a filling of the Pokedex thing, or, uh, some third kind of challenge, like Pokemon Contest or something. I some- I- I kind of doubt that'll be as true as the promotions made it seem. But, uh, I'm curious what they do. What happened with that sand just there? Ooh. Look at- what is that? It's magic. Magic sand. It's a palace sand. Can I catch it? And this is the switch. Look at that. Look at that fade out. That's a PlayStation 1 fade out. The sand going into that dirt. All that just for a Pokeball. Oh, I bet. Will I be able to climb that later? That's a that's a sheer wall. Why did the music go away? Hold on. Try, I'm, I'm very curious what triggers the music. It just kind of comes and goes when it wants to. I'm not bitching and moaning. I'm just I'm I'm pointing things out because I find them funny. What is this? This is a house. Whose house is this? Nimona's? Is this the old man's house? It's a fancy house. That was a gibble. And a sligoo. I guess I'm going to school. Uh, part of the reason that I vow I went with uh, with Scarlet was because of 
Actually, you know what? I don't remember which. There, there was some pseudo-legendaries that I was interested in in each version. I think Violet has Larvitar, and Scarlet has the uh, Ghost Dragon Boomerang thing. Yes, I, I'm going to school with Nimona. Nemo. Nah. Yes, I will eat proper meals. Sandwiches. Nothing but sandwiches. Sandwiches is the next several years of this young of this young girl's life. Makes a fantastic meal on a picnic. Meat. Yes, meat. Don't ask what the meat is. We're not going to get an answer. Is it Miltank? Is it Tauros? Is it Blaziken? It's just, it's meat. Yeah. She still doesn't quite look. I, I liked that the Sword Shield mom finally looked like a mom. Not, you know, like a, a MILF, as Pokemon moms always do. Hello, can I move? Okay, I can move. So if I click... No? If I click the stick, nothing happens. I am locked in run mode. Why was this un- why was this unlockable? Why did I need to learn how to run by going down a hill? Also, the, uh, something about auto-heal? Auto I like the Pokemon eat. Okay. Alright, so this auto-heal, if they added a feature to uh, counteract those idiots like me who don't use items throughout the game. <laughs> uh, what was I doing? Options. Uh, horizontal camera. Let me try inverted, because it's, it's, so it feels weird somehow. There we go, that feels, that feels right. Poco. Slowpoke tail, that's true. We do, we do know that people canonically eat slowpoke tails, and it is frowned upon, except in Hawaii. Hawaiians are cool with it. Oh, that's, that's a shiny? No, it's not. Never mind. I thought the white things were shiny Lechonks, but no, there's it's, it's a different Pokemon. Also, a shiny Lechonk is certainly not white. It's gonna be like, uh, it's gonna be like just a very slightly different gray. Is all it's gonna be. Okay, here we go. Here's our tutorial battle. Can I run? Can I move? No, it's, it's gonna throw me in. I wonder if this is a scripted Lechonk. Well, I, obviously it's, 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 just, it's a scripted battle, but... I wonder if this, this Lechonk is like, uh... Is shiny locked, for example. I don't think we encountered any shinies in our uh, in our Sword Shield playthrough. I don't remember for sure though. I don't think we encountered any in our any of our playthroughs. Jack, have we ever encountered a shiny on a, on a Pokemon stream? Just, like, ran into one in the wild. Alright. Lechonk, the hog, searches for food all day, possesses a keen sense of smell, but doesn't use it for anything other than foraging. It is apparently a gourmet, 
I, I know that from the Violet Pokedex entry. And it turns up its nose at uh, anything but the finest of foods. Which makes me wonder how it has lived as a species. Dumb pig. Holla. Holla holla? What does holla mean? Is it, are we getting Spanish slang? This is definitely a, a lot less Spanish than the previous gen was British. I'm gonna say that. Although I, I... Is it necessarily all Spanish or is it just kind of that region of Europe is just this like vague northern Mediterranean okay I should probably read this Pokemon you see wandering around in tall grass caves and elsewhere are wild you can also start a battle by looking toward a wild Pokemon and throwing one of your balls at it by using the ZR button so this is kind of along the lines of Legends Arceus which I did not play, but I know has gameplay that features, like, throwing your ball at things. Hello, little red. I think he can get uh, items for me. She. It is a she, isn't it? Yeah, it's a, I, got, I got a female starter. Yep, she picked up a potion for me. Uh, there's also... Like, uh... Kind of like Earthbound, there is an auto-battle function. Where if my dude runs into another Pokémon... They can fight, and I don't have to do anything. I think it, I think it gains experience from that. But, uh, I, I forget what the limitations are. I know it won't do it if the, po if the Pokemon is shiny. It's, it will not auto-battle and knock out a shiny in the wild, thankfully. Honestly, I'm, I'm glad they thought of that, because that seems like something the Pokemon that, that Game Freak would not think of. What are you? Obviously, you're a bug. I caught Tarantino. It's a string ball Pokemon. The ball of threads wrapped around its body is elastic enough to deflect the sights of Scyther, this Pokemon's natural enemy. It looks like, uh... It looks like a little Splatoon character. Uh... I, I don't have any good ideas. Yeah, it's Splat. Oh, it's a remix of the... Is this Pallet Town? I don't think we've ever heard that in a Pokemon game. A remix of a classic theme, other than the Pokemon Center. The Pokemon Center theme comes back every game. That's about it! Peter like Peter Parker. You know what? Let's test this. Uh, notices. Left is outfit. Up is gestures. Oh, hold on, this is important. 
Come on. Up. Yeah! Come get some. There's the camera app. Uh, how do I, how do I access the, like, rename stuff? Check summary, change position. Elf, how do I rename Pokemon? Change nickname. Okay. So it's in the summary screen now. Change markings. Yeah, you can just do that anytime. Neat. Miles? Who's Miles? I ain't never heard of no Miles. And I guess, uh, learning and forgetting moves will also be on the same screen when we eventually get that. Hello, Fletchender. I do wish that I could uh, rearrange moves on the on the battle screen like I could in the old games. Terra type. Aroma Veil. Protects the Pokemon and its allies from effects that prevent the use of moves. Have you heard of the new method for learning egg moves? No, I have not. Is that a thing aside from, like, breeding them? Sorry, it's not Fletchender yet, it's Fletchling. I also forgot it started as a normal type. Once it enters battle, its hormonal balance changes. Okay. Sorry, Jack, too slow. Tweety's not hormonal enough. This hop-hip looks very felt. Also, I'm getting the impression that uh, Fuecoco is a special attacker, because Tackle is doing very little. Apache. You want to name the Hopip Apache? Hopip. Hop pop. Hop pop. It is unclear where the Hopip of Paldia originally came from. HP. Apache, like the helicopter. Oh. It's more of the chonks. I probably don't need to catch everything. There's uh, that thing I forget the name of immediately, but uh, I want to keep moving so that we can get to the like actual open world part of the game. Because this is not yet that. We still got- we gotta go to school first. Wait. Okay, I- I will catch the new thing. It's a little fire bear. Paw me. Watch it not be fire type and just kill it. Nope, it's electric. Okay. Is this the obligatory Pikachu of the game?
Also, I know there's like loot. I just noticed I'm like I'm getting stuff off of the Pokemon that I catch. It has underdeveloped electric sacs on its cheeks. These sacs can produce electricity only if Pommy rubs them furiously with the pads on its forepaws. Okay. Ah, Jack, I'm sorry. The Pokemon Company hates anime. We have to use a knockoff Kilua. Yeah, I got Pommy fur. Weird. I, I don't. It, that's like a monster hunter feature. I don't expect to get fur and body parts off of the creatures that I capsule. That I capture. Uh. Let's see. Oh, I wanted to check. Uh, I just wanted to check its stats real quick. Stats. Oh, there it is. Uh, yeah, significantly more special attack than attack. So these things are getting experience. They'll level up eventually. I mean, similar. I'm going to play this similarly to how we did, uh, how we did Sword Shield. How do I rearrange moves? Oh, why? I'm gonna focus on uh, on new Pokemon and just kind of feel around our way through the game. Modest, no way. Is that is that good? What's modest? That's special attack increase, right? Oh, it's yeah. It even tells you on the Pokemon screen. I got a special attack. I got the best nature, in theory, for my little my Fuecoco. Woohoo! I wonder if there will be, like, ride Pokemon or something in this game. Again, still pretty blind. I don't know if the last game had bikes again. Gen 7 had riding Pokemon, Gen 8 had bikes. Again, don't tell these are rhetorical questions. Please don't answer them. I, I don't want to know until the game tells me. Alright. This is the part where the, the, the legendary Pokemon of the Gen just has a miraculous encounter with our lovable Incredibly lucky heroine. I never thought I'd say this. This game, these games give me a new respect for Ash. Just because, like, Pokemon game characters have become so incredibly privileged with their experiences as a starting Pokemon trainer. Ash struggled. A lot. He struggled so much it was painful to watch at times, but at least he struggled. Well, I'm sorry. The Rotom phone... Okay, it... it Rotom can, like, levitate. I guess that checks out. I, I was trying to wrap my head around how she used it as a parachute for a second. That was frame rate beach. Eh. Mm. Oh, don't mind me, I just, I express, like, low frame rates with grunts. Alright, the mysterious Pokemon is very weak. Yeah, I got something for you. Uh, 
Don't ask what the meat is. It's slices of something. Ah, yes. Conspicuously, the only thing on this beach is that cave that we now need to go through. So I just, I can't change my pants, ever. Is that what I'm to get from this? I guess I wasn't able to change my uh, shirt either, outside of the, uh, the preset uniforms. Yes, there, there's the thing. With, with its stupid wheel chest. God, I hate it. I begrudgingly bought your version because everyone bought your version because this is the version with the cave lady. I'm convinced that's why everyone bought Scarlet. Scarlet is sold out. Violet is not. We'll pop in. All right, let's go. Let's go in the cave. Let's go on our. Let's go on our spelunky adventure. The walls are shifting. Oh, now I walk. What happened? What changed? I don't understand the difference between walking and running in this game. Is it the slope? Bought Scarlet because it has the first ground fighting. Is it one of the legendaries? Because there's not a lot of virgin exclusives in these games. Or is it one of the uh, Area Zero whatever Pokemon? Those are pretty much the only... Uh, those are pretty much the only exclusives are whatever goes on in Area, in area Zero. If you'd gotten hurt because I said we should go looking for whatever made that cry, right now we've got to focus on getting you back up here. Try climbing! Oh. Well, okay then! You know what? I'll just be British again. My trainer came from Galar. Kinda seems like it- I, I stepped away for like two seconds, calm down. That Pokemon might be as strong as mine! Hello, young goose. Do I want to catch you? Eh. I'm sure I'll find more young goose. Run! It's so arbitrary! You know what? Actually, I don't know that. Excuse me for a moment. Oh, I'm still paralyzed. I'll probably... Probably knock it out anyway. Nope, I'm still paralyzed. Yeah. Alright, no young goose. Real shame, that was uh, probably the only one in the game. Is it automatically adjusting my speed so that I don't run past it? I think that's what it's doing. 
It doesn't want me to exceed the uh, exceed the cutscene. Or the intended cutscene. Yes, many houndor. Houndour. It took me way too long that that was the intended pun of Houndour's name. Like the word dower. I guess I've just never seen dower spelled out before. Kept that hop up in my team throughout the entire team throughout the entire game, just to spread status. That's about all Hopip could do from the start. I, it probably has a little more like move pool variety by now, but I don't know how much. In Gen 2, it was like just status, and that was all it could do. It got a bunch of pow powders pretty early on, and it just never really got any attack moves. I just... God, walk faster. Please walk faster. I can take it. No, I can't. They really brought up the battle screen. They've had scripted losses before. But they didn't even, like, they didn't even let a battle happen. That one was as scripted as it gets. You just pick the fight command and it goes straight to a cutscene. I wonder if that was because people found ways to, like, get past the, uh... Well, found ways. They hacked the game. To get past other types of scripted losses. I know there was a YouTube channel that explored what the game does if you manage to beat... the unwinnable encounter with the sword dog in Last Gen. I'm sorry, exciting stuff is happening. Uh, the, 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 we managed to overcome the group of puppies and escape the cave with the power of jumps. I am being swaddled in Bicycle Mon's arms. His big, swollen Bara arms. I thought you were both goners. Yes, this thing was gonna be killed by uh, ten Houndowers. I also heard Toby Fox was involved with the uh, music for this gen. I don't know which tracks or to what degree. Yeah, I, I'm not... Too... Okay, in degree of things I'm bothered by, the frame rate is the least issue for me. Things popping in and out is pretty noticeable. Whatever's happening with the lighting changing very suddenly is the biggest thing that keeps, like, making me turn my head for a second. Looks so different from a minute ago, you think it's okay? I'm not a doctor. Alright, we're back up here in one piece. The battle down there was really something. You and this fellow looked perfectly in sync as you went through that scripted cutscene together. You didn't even tell it what to do. Guess it's not like you're this Pokemon's trainer yet. Yet. She knows. Just pretend you're 20 years in the past. Oh yeah, this, uh, this PS1 game looks great. I guess the PS1 was kind of, they, they were in PS2 era by a 2002. Man, the PlayStation 2 was out 20 years ago. I'm old. Alright. Yeah, give me your number. 
Oh, she's got a black Rotom phone. That's badass. I want that one. Alright. Uh, bad news, Jack. TMs are back to only being usable once. However, you can craft them. So you can create them indefinitely, as long as you have, I guess, the fur and fat of Pokemon you've slain. Apparently Game Freak already patched an item cloning glitch. Oh. There was a patch when I started the game. And then, and then it bit little Zelrog's head off, and that was the end of her Pokemon adventure. Okay. Let's go to the lighthouse, I guess. Oh, jumpable ledges are back. I don't think that was a thing in Sword Shield. I don't remember, though. Why, that little... Okay, that's, that's a good first three words to introduce your character with. What are you doing out here? I'm not talking to you two. You two can shove off! Okay. Well, that's, that's slightly rude, but... You know what? In a world of unbridled positivity, I find that refreshing. You're enrolled in the humanity. You're wasting your your degree too, right? Aren't you the son of that Pokemon researcher, Professor Sada? Is that a tree? Is a Sada a tree? Doesn't matter who my mom is. Real issue here is what in the world this Pokemon's doing out here. What is this form it's in? met it at the bottom of this cliff. She fell off a cliff. I'm fine, thanks for asking. Wore itself out and it got kind of slumpy afterward. You should have seen it before. It was amazing. As it should be, but it can't fight while it's like this. Form Coridon takes out because you can Coride on it. That's its true form. Agiagias. Agias? Don't remember ever seeing you around, but given the uniform, you go to the academy. Yeah, I still, uh, still had. This is all before my first day of school. I haven't actually started yet. This was a very eventful pre first day. What sort of Pokemon is it? No answer. Dodges the question. How about I test your worthiness? Can can I heal my paralyzed dinosaur first? I've been feeling all out of sorts, so I'm gonna use this battle to blast these doldrums away. Is this the hard rival? He does not have the duck. Maybe he'll get the duck later, or maybe we're just not doing that anymore. Where the easy rival has the, uh, the type that you're advantageous against, and the hard rival has the other one. Alright, good, I got healed between, uh, between now and then. That's it, you just had one Squavit. You know what, he kind of looks like a Squavit. He looks like he should be in that, uh, that Gen 3 commercial, with all the people who look like Pokemon.
Also, is she taller than him? Nimona's tall. They keep going on about how she's a champion class. I wonder if she'll be the champion by the time that we get there. Or if we're just going to be, like, working our way up to, uh... Okay. It is... Koraidon has a very special... You're just giving it to me. Why did you have it? Okay. He, he just... He just gave us an obviously legendary Pokemon. I mean, I don't know that. I haven't seen the game cover. Be that way. Better actually show up for school, weirdo. The, the, when she has, like, the tooth smile, it looks so fake with this particular mouth style. That Arvin guy definitely knows more than he's letting on. Next time he and I are battling, I'm gonna wring some answers out of his level 5 squavit. Let, let's climb the lighthouse. Let's let, show me them frames. Oh, I should I should have tried to catch those uh, wingles. I'll try again. Oh, uh, frames could be worse up here. No, don't go back. Oh, hello, Hoppip. Goodbye, Hoppip. I don't know if these wingles are even catchable, but I want to. I want to try. Oh, they didn't come back. Man. That's Mesa Goza. Is that the town? Okay. So Mesa Goza is our first big city. I assume there's more than one because we're, again, at the very, like, southernmost tip of the island of Paldia. But all that schoolwork. Think of it as tons of chances to learn about Pokemon battling. Is that all that's taught at this school? Because I was under the impression, under the hope, that this would be the first school in the entire Pokemon universe to teach subjects besides Pokemon battling. Look at all them biomes. Beautiful nature stuff, as far as the eye can see. You know what's waiting for you all over these natural spaces? Tons of Pokemon! Consider this me officially telling you, welcome to Paldia. It's kind of a hike to get to school from here. Let's make it to Los Pletos. Sounds like a Greek restaurant. Vamos! Are the Wingles back? I want to catch a Wingle. It's not even because I particularly want a Wingle. I just wanted to see if they were actually encounterable or purely decorative. All right, one more time. Darn. Get a good workout on this ladder. So it doesn't seem like going up and down changes, like it spawns a new map. Because that, uh, that hop-ip was consistent as I went up and down. Alright, there's Spupa. Alright, let's catch a Spupa. 
a Gen 6 bug Pokemon. Is it level 4? Maybe round won't kill it. Alright. Oh, I can move the camera while battling. Sorry, it's a scatterbug. It, uh, it evolves into Spupa. What do we call on this thing? It's a spore bug. Sca we got powder. We got scatterbug powder. Any poison this Pokemon takes in is converted into a black powder and secreted. That's why scatterbug can eat poisonous leaves and roots. What does its tooth looks like look like? Good old three hair. Yep, six Pokemon. We can access our boxes from anywhere. <laughs> right from the get-go, don't have to unlock it in this one. This this Lechonk likes me. Alright. Let's battle. Do they so I have to talk to them now. They won't uh it's not like a, a line of sight thing. I also saw what looked like an Azuril nearby. I can check, even in, even in the middle of a battle. No. I don't know if it's still... Oh, there it is. Yeah, it's an Azuril. Spain has battle consent laws. It's about time. Pekka Berry. Where's this, where does Uriel go? I saw it. There it is. We got a Zuril, we got Psyducks. Oh, don't kill it, please. I should probably be using Tackle. This baseline, though. That's an interesting combination of instruments for the battle theme. They got a, a sick baseline trumpets and violins. It's just orchestra and bass guitar. Oh, that's right, it's a fairy type now. Uh... I don't remember how Azuril evolves, if it's level or if it's a happiness. Pretty much all the Gen 2 baby Pokemon are happiness. Azuril is Gen 3. And boy, did that make it a pain to uh, breed some of them. I was uh, recently... I've recently been playing the older games on emulation to fill out a uh, a living dex in each one. And it's a... Uh, boy, was it a pain if I wanted to get more, like, uh, Mr. Mime... Not Mr. Mimes. Uh, Jinx or Electabuzz. Because you can't breed them fully grown. You have you get Smoochims and Elekids and things. And then you have to happiness evolve them, which just takes forever. It's a Ralts. Is it female? Okay. This is this is important. No, no one wants a male Ralts. Why? No reason. Don't worry about it.
Did it? I, I wasn't paying attention. It must have used, like, double team or something. Ah, whatever. I'll just throw a ball. I'm kind of mixed on the addition of the fairy type. But I do kind of like that uh, Ralt's got it. Or uh, Gardevoir. Because it, it makes Gardevoir more unique in combat. Being a dual uh, psychic fairy type. Uh, it's it's a feeling Pokemon, and I don't have an, an an idea for. Are there any like known empaths? You know what? I know an empath. No, Jack. I'm not gonna call it Mercy. I like Brawls. I'll I'll keep it in the party. As long as we uh, have have space for it. I got Ralts Dust. What what is Ralts Dust? Oh, sick Magikarp! That's right. You can fight Water Pokemon like this now. And flying Pokemon, I understand. I wonder how good my throwing arm is. Can I develop it? I want a really buff Pokemon trainer who can, like, throw a Pokeball for a mile and nail a bird between the eyes to start a Pokemon battle. The poor Psyduck is just caught in the middle. Magikarp scales, probably the most worthless crafting ingredient. An underpowered, pathetic Pokemon. It may jump high on rare occasions, but never more than seven feet. Magic crap. Y'all gotta be faster if you want to suggest names. Y'all gotta throw those out while I'm fighting it. That was a webcomic. Uh, manly guys doing manly things. A.K.A. the punchline is machismo. And one of the one of the characters was a Pokemon trainer named Jared, who just had a big, dumb... Goofy, lovable Gyarados. I wish I remembered that Gyarados' name. So, uh, there is a regional whooper. I think I had seen images of it. And I think I know it's a poison type. I don't remember if it has a secondary type or not. I also don't know if there's a regional... Uh, Quagsire. Does this thing evolve... Name this one Sack of Shit. Okay. Dart. Like a poison dart frog. I don't think it will let me name it Sack of Shit. Poison Fish. It's a poison ground type. After losing a territorial struggle, Wooper began living on land. The Pokemon changed over time, developing a poisonous film to protect its body. Losing a territorial struggle. Yeah, uh, us humans couldn't compete with, I don't know, lions on land, so uh, we just started swimming our whole lives and eventually developed gills. That's how, that's how nature works. It's like cuppa. It's a sacca. Sacca what? Sacca none of your business. It's still it's still classified as a fish as a fish Pokemon, even as poison ground type. What is that out there? Oh no, not okay. Oh, it's a it's a Whooper. Whooper still swim. Speaking of Gen two baby Pokemon, no miss. Good. Ah, 
I assume, because this has been a thing for several gens now, this gen still has the mechanic where the more Pokemon you have, the, easy, the higher your catch rate is. They'll contaminate the water supply. That's a great point. I need to catch all of them. Do you think there are, uh, there are Paldian Whooper hunts? Are they invasive? I got Iggly Buff Fluff. Its body has a faintly sweet scent and is bouncy and soft. If it bounces even once, it cannot stop. What, like, ever? the buff. Soon to be a puff. Then a tough. What is that? Oh, it's the, the electric dog. I think. No, that's a new thing. What are you? Oh, that's the bagel. <laughs> that's the stupid bagel dog. I've, I've seen this one. Fido. Fuck you. a Pokemon Center literally within sight. I'm just here in battle. <laughs> Bake off. How many th how many of these things are named Bagel? You know there's a, just a billion people who have caught a Fido and just named it Bagel. You know what? I, I know I know what I'm gonna call it. I have a name. I have a name that I can almost predict will be the name of its evolution. This Pokemon is smooth and moist to the touch. Yeast in Fido's breath in induces fermentation in the Pokemon's vicinity. It's a beagle. A beagle bagel. Alright, well, I guess I now have to swap out Ralts because... I'm trying to prioritize Pokemon that evolve into new things. So, uh, I also have seen this. Pokemon centers are now... Well, this one is just like a stand. It's a pop-up. I'm, I'm gonna walk up and I'm gonna buy like a funnel cake here. It must suck to work here in the winter time. We accept payment in cash and league points. Okay. There's the technical machine machine. The TMM. The TMM. You'll need to pay an LP and supply the machine that with materials. That's, uh, okay. Imagine just shoving a bunch of Pokemon fur into a machine and it spits out a disc for you. What? I just noticed that thing blinks. Yes, it is sentient. It watches all of us, waiting for the day 
that it can turn and, like, knock out the Pokemon Center and Mart attendants. After the takeover, we're gonna come back and we're gonna find three of those things manning this. Yeah, upside the Pokemon follows you. Press R to throw it out. Alright, I should read this because it's new. R button is quick and easy to way to tell your lead Pokemon. Alright, buddy. Let's go! Get it? Did you get the what that's a reference to? Did you get that subtle nod to the Let's Go games? Hey, buy the Let's Go games! <clears throat> Once you give the go-ahead, your Pokemon will set on its own to battle nearby Pokemon or pick up items it finds in the area. When it's low on energy, it won't be able to go exploring, so if your Pokemon gets weak, try to heal it up with a potion or some other item. When a Pokemon starts battling while exploring on its own, you won't need to give any orders. It can battle on its own with auto battles. You can keep searching the area for new discoveries while watching over it from nearby. I can be a helicopter parrot. Auto battles will be decided by the strength and the types of the Pokemon taking part in the battle. Okay. Wait, so they, they don't actually have a simulated battle where they use moves. It's just, it's fully automatic. Man in background walking in 4 FPS. I, I missed that. Uh, the most infamous one part that I'm aware of is we'll get to the classroom. It has a 4 FPS moment. Did you know? When you don't know where to go next, next, you can ask for help at any Pokemon Center. The staff there are all psychic and know everything about you and your adventure and where to go next. What TMs could I make? What do you got for me, Tum? I need to gather up materials and earn League points. I can make Mud Slap. Uh, what, what do we have? Charm? Useless. Fire Fang? I need 800... How many... Where's my League points? I have plenty of League points. I don't have the materials for a Fire Fang, Thunder Fang, or Ice Fang. Why do I have... I have Mankey Fur, I guess. Alright. We got a few moves. You know what? Let's make a disfar let's make a disarming voice. It's not a powerful move, but it'll be a different type for uh, Fuecoco. Yeah, let, let let's teach our crocodile how how to make a cute little fairy voice. Also, the pig already knows it for some reason. Get out of here, bot. Hello. Pokemon Center is a great meetup spot when you're getting together with friends. It's so convenient, I almost don't mind that there's no chairs here. Oh, thank you, Jack. I was just about to do, uh, take care of that. Wish I had a Pokemon. Like a Lechonk? It's the official. It's Brock. This is Los Platos. We're always happy to serve up a helping of hospitality to anyone passing by. Is there like a first person? I can zoom in and out with the right stick clicking. Oh, that's not a battleable bounce suite. I can't take it. Oh, whoops. Let's see. I want to take a selfie with Brock. He's the best. I don't know how to, I don't know how to take the picture.
Okay, well, it's it's on screen. Pretend we take we took the picture. Okay, here we go. We have ice cream. Uh, what does this do? Raid power, humongo power. Fizzy pop ice ice cream. What is? I want that. I don't know what that is. I kind I want it in real life. I don't know what it, what it's supposed to taste like. Knackly salt. Teriyaki ice cream. Ugh. Oh. Uh. So if I press B, I can sneak. I can be sneaky. I can press the bottom button to do that. There's a, a new Tauros. Pokemon, the head of your party will always be the first one sent out in battle. So I am also aware that there are three, not just one, but three new types of Tauros in this game. There is one, there's a Paldian Tauros, which is in both versions. And then there is a, another Tauros form unique to each version. I think one is aquatic and one is like fighting type or something. Yep, I am, I am an academy student. I have attended the academy for exactly zero hours. Go team! Yeah, I, I did know that Pokemon can learn up to four moves. So some items have these glows to them. So that they're very obvious and visible. Some of them, I, I guess, is it just the berries that just sparkle on the ground? Some are more, the Pokeballs are very noticeable by design. Oh, uh, I... I didn't even see that there. Hello, Sunkern. Let me disarm you. With my lovely voice. Another Gen 2 Pokemon. Probably one of the less remembered Gen 2 Pokemon. People kind of remember Sunflora, because it showed up in the anime a few times. No one remembers Sunkern. It's like, oh, this that's right, this thing exists. Knowing it's weak, it simply feeds until it evolves. It doesn't even try to fight. Y'all like corn? No, I don't want to cancel sneak. Alright, so just to confirm. Do I have to talk to him, or... Yeah? Hey! Itching to fight? I bet you want to force me into a battle. Well, you can't! It's illegal here! Sucker! All right, I'll fight him. I got two whole Pokemon. Okay, that's that's real impressive, kid. Pear, Pere. Pele. I I like this camera angle. Hold on, can we get some more of that? No. Darn. Very specific move round is. If, if I remember correctly, it gets stronger 
the more Pokemon use it in a single turn. So it's only really effective in, like, a doubles environment. What is... Uh, okay, the, the dog is just pure fairy-type. Wait, it doesn't know a fairy move? The fairy-type doesn't know a fairy move. Is Fairy not super effective against Dark? Am I mis- Oh, because it's not very effective on Fire. Three generations later, I'm still... I'm still learning the Fairy type a little bit. Huh? Wait, what was that? I got a Gimme Ghoul coin. Okay. It, it looked like there was something moving behind the sign. Was that a Gimme Ghoul? I have been made loosely aware of that Pokemon's existence just because, uh... Illitox and Elf King have been talking a lot about it. It's the... Also, I think it appeared in, in one of the trailers. It's like a gimmick. Not, not a gimmick. A mimic Pokemon. That's the word I wanted. And you have to evolve it by collecting a bunch of its specific coins. You have to collect Gimme Ghoul coins for it. I don't know the details of where they're at or how to collect them other than fighting Gimme Ghouls. I hope it doesn't get burned. That would be bad. This is a fairly low catch rate Pokemon from Alola. Fire's the only fairy resistance that isn't super effective to it. I remember that. Well, I remember that now. That always trips me up because I think that I can, like, I remember fire being super effective against fairy and it's not. What a weird name for an attack move. Covet. Oh, here's a new feature. You can ask the Pokemon what move it wants to forget. So, uh, it, it will tell you, like, uh, getting... It'll make a recommendation for what moves to keep or get rid of. I, it, it would rather have Growl than Charge. That's a little weird to me. It would rather have Growl and two redundant normal attack moves. Alright, it's the Cheerleader Bird. What what what's a well-known cheering a, a well-known cheerleader? There. K Kim Possible was technically a cheerleader, I don't know. It's like a little mini Zapdos. The advice is literally just random. There's, there's no logic to it at all. It just picks a random move to suggest getting rid of. Are you serious? What are you? You're new. I want to see the front of it. Oh, it looks weird. What does it look like? It looks like... It looks like Professor E. Gad. I'm gonna... Guess it's... I, maybe it's not a bug type. I don't know. It might be a dark type, in which case fairy probably not that'd probably kill it. Uh-oh. I oh, don't know. It's it's not. Hmm. You know what's reliable? Normal type. Normal type is reliable. That does not look like a Pokemon that would know the move Fury Swipes.
Alright, what the hell is this thing? Alright, little red- uh, bite's good. I like bite. Well, it's a physical move, though. It's not a physical attacker. Alright. It is a toxic mouse, a poison normal type. Though usually a mellow Pokemon, it will sink its sharp, poison-soaked front teeth into any that anger it, causing paralysis in the object of its ire. Okay. What a weird-looking... It, it's a mouse, sort of, but it's just a head. Like, there's, it doesn't have a body. I gotta. I gotta name it what everyone else surely named this thing. Uh, do I want to add it to the party? I have to replace something. I don't know when the... Uh, uh, Elf. Would you let me know if there are any Pokemon that don't evolve by leveling up? Because I'm on the operating assumption that all of these will... Uh, that they'll, they'll evolve if I just keep them in my party. And I want to know if that's not the case. Trudel Ink. There's a little chonk. There's a, 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 a spider bug. Fletchlings. A lot of items on the ground. They're small items, but it's nice that you can find them, I guess. I haven't looked up. It's just hop it. There's no reason to look up, really. There's a little piano music. That's right, EXP candy is a thing. Hello? You just, uh, hanging out here looking for a fight? It looks- he looks like Red. He looks like grown-up Red. I hope that's not him. No, it's a delivery man. He works for Amazon. Iker the Courier. Iker? Ikaruga? A lot of, uh, a lot of Sword Shield mods returning. I guess that makes sense. They would, uh... I guess it would be a higher priority for recent... Pokemon gens. Because they're more likely to have people returning from... I guess they're slightly more likely to have people returning from the previous two than, like... Us old people from Gen 1, Gen 2. They don't need to appeal to us, there's like five of us. I should probably be using other Pokémon besides just my starter. I should, but like none of them have really spoken to me yet. I'm a Pokemon League rep. Been having some nice Pokemon battles? Good news. If you can defeat four trainers here in Area 1 of the South Province, there's a lovely prize with your name on it. Okay. What is she typing? She's typing in, like, Doom cheat codes? To heal my Pokemon? What do the L button do? Oh, it's like the... L is like the... the Put camera behind you button. Alright, so there's one... At least one more trainer out here that I can beat for a fabulous prize that... Might end up being worthless, but we don't know that. 
I don't know that. Trainers? Oh, hello. Yes, I, I wish to battle you. Carlotta. That's a Phantom of the Opera character. There's a good number of pseudo-legendaries in this game. I know a Tyranitar... Uh, Bagon. Let's see, Garchomp. Hydreigon. And the Ghost Boomerang thing, at the very least. I know those ones are in. Here's the big question. How many waifu Pokemon are in this game? Every gen's got one. How many are included? And for that matter, I wonder what this gen's is going to be. Is it going to be the cat? I don't know. And I would, uh... I would appreciate having a bike or some form of fast movement. I'm glad I can run now. Alright, my lovely prize is Thunder Wave. Alright. You know what? That's useful for catching Pokemon. Oh, I'm sorry. Coridon. Okay, so... You can only carry six Pokemon with you, unless, except when you can't. You can actually carry seven with you if you want to carry seven with you. I don't know, don't think about it too much. Oh, here's the thing, Poke Portal. So this game has added online to, I guess, a degree that people like. How do I, is there a way I can, like, activate online? Using the Union Circle, you can play together with friends as you adventure around Paldia. You play with nearby friends, you can leave your internet connection in offline mode. If you want to play with far away friends, change to online mode. Okay. Won't be able to take part in link battles, link trades, or terror raid battles with anyone but your fellow group members. So, in Sword Shield, you would just run around and NPCs would appear as long as you were online, just on the field. With generic dialogue. When you use the Union Circle, you can gather with friends at one of the Pokemon Centers and play together. Okay. Try your best to play in an environment with a strong and steady connection. Hey, idiot, have good internet. Oh, okay. So I have to- I have to do this all at once. I guess. Okay. Well, that'll be something to keep in mind for the future, I suppose. I thought that I could just, like, go online and people I don't know, on my friends list would be able to, like, run around and be in my world or something. But I guess it's something that I have to, uh, I have to set up at one time, give people codes and things. Uh, what, what's going on in, 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 in Mystery Gift? Are there any gifts? Okay, I gotta get a Pikachu. It's everyone's favorite Pokemon. Everyone didn't buy Let's Go Eevee because they were sick of Pikachu. No, sir.
So I don't know the full details of how this Terra type feature works. I know that it's it varies by Pokemon, and so you can get it's like you can transform into that type temporarily during battle. I don't know something like that. Back, exit, leave. All right, so it's in my box now. Now, I wonder if people will appear in the field for me. Or if that's just not a thing that returned in this game. She always looks a little bit, like, down on herself. Like, she's not sure if she's ready for what's coming. And you know what? I sympathize. I'm not sure if I'm ready for what's coming most of the time. Yep, I battled some trainers on the hill. You went, okay, sure, let's fight. Nothing like a friend around. Let's have a fruitful battle. Right in front of the gate. Anyone else wants to come in or out? Screw them. We're having a Pokemon battle. We're gonna be like those uh, extremely inconsiderate trainers in gold silver. You know the ones I mean. Oh, wow, you're gonna give me two Pokemon. I don't know if I can handle that. My level 12... What is it? Fuecoco, that's its name. You really work your tight matchups. Yes, I have a basic understanding about how to play the game. Thank you. I have a hard time landing those even when I try. It's hard to try to land critical hits. Alright. I have the whooper, don't I? It's poison ground. I'm now officially out of coffee. gonna pull out her ace in the hole. What could it be? That's right, it's this gen's gimmick. It's crystals! And a light bulb. Okay, I, it's not always gonna be a light bulb. I think that's for the electric type. Terrastalizing is always a solid strategy. Gives the Pokemon's Terra type... Okay. So, if the Pokémon's Terra type is the same as its normal type, it makes it more powerful. I think. Yeah. Keep using your thunder attacks, idiot. I can't believe how fast you're improving. I'm sorry if I if the way I voice her sounds condescending, but she, it's just the way Pokemon characters act does sound condescending. You can't st terrestrialize your Pokemon yet. Don't worry, I'll get you taken care of. You're so good with Pokemon battles, I forget how new you are to this stuff sometimes. What what, what a weird like, situation this is, when you think about it, in, like, a meta way. Because I'm, like, I'm almost 30. I've been playing these games since Red Blue. And I'm in control of, of this child. It, it kind of feels like an unfair advantage.
on these NPCs who are like, Wow, this is your first Pokemon battle ever. Oh, yeah, totally it is. Alright, here we go. It's the city of slopes and stairs, and orange pants. Let's count the orange pants on screen. It's gonna be in the hundreds by the time we're done with this game. So, I, does everyone just wear purple pants in violet? We finally made it. This is Mesa Goza, the biggest city in Paldia. Okay, so we get to the big hub city pretty much immediately. It's been a big trade hub since a long time ago. Lots of folks come here to learn about advances in technology and all kinds of other stuff. There's a hair salon where you can change your look, plus places with tasty food and fixings. What do you want to see first? Uh, sure. The hair salon. Yes, I am a fashionista, as they say. I want to be sure you'll be able to terrestrialize your Pokemon, too. She she does kind of act like Goku, though. I get, but mostly because, like, that's Goku's one dimension as a character, is that he loves to fight. He's a happy-go-lucky dude who loves to fight. But she's acting towards me, my character, like Goku acts towards, uh, towards Oob. He, he wants to train someone to, like, be a competent rival. Alright, I gotta see Delibird Presents. They sell handy items for Pokemon to hold. Once you've seen your fill, we can meet up again in front of the school. Just be ready, the stairs up to school are no joke. Maybe I should maybe I should try to do like a Goku voice for her. Maybe that would be appropriate. All right. Just yeah, pop in. <laughs> very very It wasn't just one pop in. It was as it gradually loaded all the NPCs like two or three would pop in at a time. All right. I saw the weird present box. Where is that? Here it is. Hi. What is this? Do any of you talk? Oh, oh, it's just a balloon stand, is all it is. All right. It's a good frame rate there. So this is a thing that games do, is they often, they lower the frame rate or the poly count of NPCs in the distance in order to save on resources. That's a really that's that's a close distance to be to start doing that at though. That's like 15 feet away from your character. Again, I don't care too much. I'm not bitching about it. I'm I'm just pointing out just, you know, this is the way it is. This is why it's the way it is. Where's the switch to? There's a sandwich shop. Every kind of sandwich, any way you want. Welcome to every which way. All right, there's a zesty sandwich. A jam sandwich. Only jam and slices of strawberry. Okay. Tropical sandwich. Marmalade sandwich. Yeah, I like marmalade. And an avocado sandwich. I'm sure I'll learn what these sandwiches do at some point in the future. There's also, like, a whole lot of things that I could do here. 
I'm sure. I could explore this whole city because this is, again, the big hub of the area. And unlike Sword Shield, it doesn't seem like any of it is closed off upon our first time getting here. We're not going to run into a guy raving about how awesome Pokemon are and how the city is and we can't go by him. I can study a Rotom phone to peer into past lives. Yeah, in a past life, I was a trainer in Galar. I got the ball guy case. Are there more? Okay, no, I guess not. So what games would that work for? It would work for, uh... Oh yeah, look at that. Uh, Sword and Shield. It would work for Let's Go Eevee and Pikachu. And I would assume Legends Arceus. I think that's all the Pokemon Switch games. Unless maybe it's got content for uh, Pokemon Unite or something. I'll explore more of this later. I'm just I'm just gonna move ahead for now because again I'm eager to get to the like the gameplay part, the open world part I should say. Don't you get it? If you join Team Star, you can shine as bright as anybody. Here's here's this character, toothpaste, and uh, our villain team who are like. Bully preppy kids? We've got a quota to fill. You have to join us. I'd rather not. Let's just leave. Oh. Okay. Yeah, I kind of I figured out. Alright. I am required to intervene. I'm just, I'm just shorter than everybody. Everyone is taller than me in this game. We're Team Star. We burn so bright it hurts. You knew that, right? Uh, yeah! You're scary. I am? Thanks! Alright, yeah, come at me. Why is your tie... You're... What's what's with this uniform? She's got a shirt on and a kind of sloppy tie. Usually you'd wear a tie with like a jacket or something. I'll bet they use the mouse Pokemon. The poison normal type. Yep, spot on. What you looking at? All right, so it's it's poison normal. I don't have anything amazing against it. Also, worth noting, I cannot like uh, free cam in a trainer fight the way I can in a wild Pokemon battle. Or maybe it's just certain scripted trainer fights like this one. She did, like, the, the, the anime pullback. Why is a nobody like you so good at battling anyway? That's not right. No way! She beat you?! Does that mean I gotta battle this kid now since I'm higher up Team Star's ranks? Pero bueno. What do you think you're doing? What? Pero bueno. I don't know what that means. Good something. Good God! It's that student council. Of course, she's on the student council. She is a, such a student council character. I can't believe you. 
You don't have to go find randos to battle. You'll have all the battles you'll ever need with me, Goku! It was those Team Star punks. They picked a fight with you? Wow, I read that the wrong way. Sorry. I get it now. You two have got Team Star written all over you for sure. I'll bet you were trying to pressure people into signing up again, weren't you? We weren't... not doing that. Well, that explains it. Head of student ca- <laughs> I'm sorry, this mental image of Goku on a student council. I kinda love that. I kinda want, like, a, a one Dragon Ball Z spin-off episode. I want that to be a filler episode, where it's like an AU, and they're all in high school. It's fine to do that for one episode. I don't need a whole series of it. I don't need, like, Rock Lee and his ninja pals. One episode's fine. After after my Fuecoco terrestalizes, it'll be a fire type. Normally you gotta take special classes to be able to put to get one of these terror orbs, but I put in a good word for you. Time to give it a whirl. You're le you'll learn how to use it faster in battle than if I just explain it to you. You want this kid to practice wailing on us with a terror Pokemon? Yeah! Alright. Imagine Gen 1 using a Team Rocket grunt as a tutorial. What a slap to the face that would be to Team Rocket. Like, I get they were never that big a threat, but... People kind of treated the teams more seriously back then. Like, they weren't just, like, mild ruffians or troublemakers. They were, they were criminals. Alright, so I get one terrestrialization before I return to, uh... Before I return to a Pokemon Center again. It's an interesting way to balance it. Uh... What were the Pokemon knockoff games? That... Came out recently or are coming out? There's Koromon and there's, uh, Temtem. Now, I don't remember which is which. But I've heard good things about one of them. I think maybe it was... I think it was Koromon I read an article about. And it has a neat feature where you get, like, one free full heal every time you go to the Pokemon Center equivalent. To, like, carry around with you. So if you're out in the field, you can use your full heal and then it just... it won't be recharged until you go back to a center again. That seems cool. I like that. I wish it was in this game. Sometimes you'll find a Pokemon whose terror type is totally different from its usual type. That difference can open up your strategic options. Gotta charge your terror orb at a Pokemon Center after every use by healing up your team, though. I'll be on my we merry way then, yeah? Hasta la vista! Shut up. You know what? Every member of Team Star is now Ringo Star. I've decided this from here on out. Oh, is that Temtem? Okay, I'm sorry, I got it. I must have read the article about on, on Temtem. So have you played either of them, Gleam? Temtem or uh, Koromon? I don't fucking care about these characters. Thanks. See you around. The morning. I don't think I've seen that girl around. Maybe she's a new transfer like you. That Eevee bag, though. Love that fluff. Anyway, seems like the trouble's died down, so we better book it up to school. Get ready to climb the worst staircase in the world. I get the impression Nimona might be out of shape. This is the famous, torturously long staircase of the Academy. Not an easy climb, is it? This... 
This place needs to be wheel wheelchair accessible. Y'all got consent laws, you don't got, like, equal access laws. Yep. School. Hey. Uh, you should be able to see when your messages arrive for me. Or you can see the stream delay by when they appear on screen. Alright, here we are. Welcome to Naranja Academy. Wasn't... Go Didn't Gohan go to Orange Star High School? I, granted, that's Orange Star. Orange Fruit High School. Here we go. You can sign up for all kinds of classes at the desk behind me, and those halls off to the sides lead to all different parts of the school. It's totally big enough to let loose and battle in here, but for some reason, they ban Pokemon battling in the main entrance. Probably because it's like a hub of activity, and it would get in the way of everyone. The Selrog Miss Nimona. How did you find your first school commute? Uh, it was fucking long. Oh, it, we're, we're like... Oh my god, we're two hours and twenty minutes into this. I suppose Miss Nimona must have led you on quite the adventure. Not that I was expecting any less from our champion-ranked student council president. Everyone is just retired by the time they're 14 in this universe. Everyone's successful. Didn't we learn in Sun Moon that gym leaders, or at least trial captains, all, like, retire by 20 or something? Yep, we saw Team Star kids in town. They were hassling this kid with an Eevee backpack. That's quite the news. Are they still to be found out there? Zelrog flexed on him and ran him off. You don't say. It's a fine thing to try to help a fellow student, but you might wish to show a bit of restraint as you find your feet here at our academy. Yeah, the school staff is here. Blah, blah, blah. Don't fight, Saiyan. Must have been Miss Penny. I'm relieved to hear she's come to class, at least. Miss Demona, if you'd be so good, do report to Mr. Jacques about this Team Star business. As your homeroom teacher, he should be kept apprised of such goings-on. I've never heard that word, apprised. Look at the time. You two had better hurry along. Classes will be starting soon. Well, it's a good thing that we left for school two hours before school started. We got here just in time. Okay, here we go. Here's the cutscene. Mmm, those feet frame rates. Now, this is a cutscene. There should be very little happening right now. Alright. Here's Mr. Jacques. He looks kind of like Rick from Rick and Morty, but with some weird beehive glasses. These kids are way, f way too cheerful for kids in their first class of the day. Also, the, the Nimona is the same age as all these kids? I look like I fit in here. The rest of this class looks like 10. Alright. AMA, ask me anything. Alright, it's a real question. Maybe this will actually impact something. I like collecting Pokemon. That's why I play this series. The girl on the far right, her face looks squished. She kind of looks like the, the, the young kid from Totoro. May? My? Alright, Nimona. Like, was she held back? Or is she just an absurdly early bloomer? She looks five years older than everyone in this room. Alright. I want to complete the Pokedex. That's why I'm here. It's a bio- oh, he teaches biology. Is it just Pokemon biology? 
or like all all biology. He's rocking sandals. I see that. All right, you ragamuffins. Be nice and friendly to our new classmate. All right, watch the feet. Watch the frames. And now it's fine. Why is it fine now? What changed? We're not in a cutscene anymore. This should run worse than the cutscene. The cutscene should run better. What? Okay, N Nimona got called to the staff room. Oh, hey, thanks. Not, not everyone is talkative. Hey. Hey, look at me. I'm teacher now. Hold on. Is he... Is his model still here, but is invisible? I can't walk straight. There's like a lump in front of this podium that I cannot access. Weird. Okay. Well, I guess that was homeroom. I just I just had to be introduced and now I'm free to go all over the school, do whatever I want. Let's drop in on the staff room on uh this ladybug villain. That's the that's that's the champion. It's got to be this weird. I want to I want to call her a Splatoon character. She's got like squid hair. All right, good day. The, the hours she must spend on that hair every single morning. Who was that? That lady is called La Primera. She's strong. She can do pretty much anything. She's got cool practically coming out her ear. Yeah, cool. That's what she is. Definitely cool. She's everything I want to be. Yes, I remember you asking me what my dream was. I know you said you're all about completing the Pokedex, but hear me out. Fighting. Huh? Yeah, okay. I got a whole spiel, though! The trainers who reach champion rank are the ones who raise their Pokémon really strong. They're pro-tier battlers. Their moves keep crowds absolutely on the edge of their seats. You have to prove yourself to the Pokémon League to officially get the title of champion. I've been doing this since before you were born. Nimona! You've got to take on eight Pokemon gyms and win so you can collect their gym badges. Once you've done all that, all that's left is a special test, the Champion Assessment. Once you pass that, then at long last you'll be a champion. Not the champion, a champion. It, it kind of, it's, it's kind of less impressive when there's more than one. I'm going to be honest. I reached champion rank during our last treasure hunt, you know? Treasure hunt is a special independent study thing we've got here. Should happen soon. Our last one started not long after the beginning of this school year. It's great! You get to leave school to go have an adventure and learn however you want. <laughs> That's convenient. So why are we introducing the, the premise of a school if we're not going to be spending time at school? Okay, I know, I know there's some, like, missions and things to do at the school. I also missed what she just said. Something about a treasure. I got a feeling I'd be able to get even stronger if you and I were both working at it. Let me go ahead and save the gym's locations in your map app in case you decide to go for it. So this was also told to me. I am aware that I 
can do the gyms in any, any order in the most technical sense. I say that because they are not level scaled in any way. There's a specific order that you want the, your, the game wants you to do the gyms in. Which, again... Boy, the Pokemon series is really bad at doing open world. They keep saying they're gonna do it, and then they just don't understand how to do it. Especially because we've kind of gotten... We've gotten, like, in-universe some explanation as to how gyms supposedly work. I think it was in Black and White 2. Charon becomes a gym leader. And he has to use his, uh, he has to use a new team of weaker Pokemon for, uh, to challenge new trainers with. I, I, I don't, is that because he's designated, like, the first gym leader in the league, though, that he has to use weak Pokemon? Me and pretty much everyone else always seems to assume that, like, gym leaders have a bunch of different teams that they'll send out at you depending on how many badges you have. But that would make far too much sense. Alright, what do you serve? Sandwiches? Oh boy! There's an egg sandwich, there's a pickle sandwich, potato salad, five alarm sandwich. Peanut butter sandwich. Egg pa I don't know what these are. Uh, I don't really want to sp the spend the money, though, if I don't need to. What do you get when you mix a Rotom with a microwave? Oh, okay. What, well, I, yeah, but then I would be stealing a microwave. I can't do that. When Rotom possesses something in battles, does the thing it possesses take damage? Like, does the microwave get healed at a Pokemon Center? You would think so, right? Okay, I, I still have something to do in the cafeteria. Or else does, like, the, 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 the Rotom... Okay, so it leaves and it goes into a new device. Do you just have a beat-up microwave now? Is your microwave busted? So, we meet again. You remember me, right? Who are you? Uh, come on! I gave you Koraidon's Pokeball! Did I forget to introduce myself? Name's Arvin. Yep. That's me. Whole school seems to be talking about you. Cause, oh, cause I, I'm, I'm buddies with Goku. That's why they're talking about me. I normally wouldn't even bother showing up for class, but I came all the way to school today just to talk with you, our new celebrity. You gotta help me out so I can finally make my dream a reality. Okay, uh, what is it? You want to hear all about my dream. I'm all about that picnic life. Oh, okay. He's a, a, a sandwich artist. Wanna be. I'm great at cooking. Cooking what? Cooking sandwiches! I had a se There's a section about these Herba Mystica things. Some kind of special herbs that heal up any Pokemon as soon as it eats them. Total of five different types of Herba Mystica based on what I read. Taking a little lick of them once, they've been powdered. Once they've been powdered, we'll get your blood flowing. Okay, is, is this like a CBD powder thing? Prevent aging. What What is this, this snake oil salesman t telling me about? This book says they're all guarded by Titan Pokemon. Okay. We're entering the territory of, like, mystical artifacts. 
This is not something I expect to see in a Pokemon game. Is like the, the eight legendary plants, all guarded by ferocious dragons or whatever. That's something out of Final Fantasy or, or Monster Hunter. Or Dragon Quest, that's what I'm thinking of. Okay. This is about Area Zero. We wondered if these hero huge, ferocious beasts were indeed Pokémon at all. One of our team suffered a brutal blow from such a beast and was mortally wounded, forcing us to retreat for a time. Okay, so a human canonically died to one of these these creatures. That is what a mortal blow means. A member of the survey team captured this photograph by chance. Notice a passing resemblance to the Pokémon known as Dawn Fan. Yet differences such as its sheer size and the shape of its back set it apart, as do its great tusks. Hmm, great tusks, you say. So are all the herbs in Area Zero. Don't have any friends with strong Pokemon to lend a hand either. I'd never hear the end of it if I went crawling to that student council girl. Here you waltz up! You've gotta help me with this! You'd be perfect! I don't know why I, I'm making him, like, Cockney-ish. He said something, like, in his first appearance... ...that made him sound... ...it, it was a Cockneyism. I guess, logically, he should be like Vegeta. but I feel like I do the Vegeta voice too much. Alright, let it stew a bit. We can get more into the details later. In the meantime, take this. Alright, <laughs> he gave me a bag of dust. I don't trust this guy. He's talking about miracle drugs. He's handing bags of powder to children. How old is he? He looks way older than everyone else, too. Uh, is this kid... This is a different class, right? Different age group? How, how many grades does this school encompass? I thought I ran into another invisible person for a second. I'm getting a Rotom phone call. I hacked your smartphone so I could talk to you. Okay. Sure. What do you mean, hacked? Means I'm basically in control of your phone right now. My name's Cassiopeia. That's you I want to talk about. I hear you're a trainer with serious potential. If that description is accurate, there's something I'd like to ask of you. You know about Team Star, right? Yep, they're a group of troublemakers formed by some Academy students a while back. They cause headaches for the school and try to bring other students down to their level. And I refuse to sit idly by and let them get away with it. Okay. Is this Penny? Is Cassiopeia Penny? Alright, start Operation Starfall. I need allies. I'd like you to be one of them. No. No. I wanted that to be like a Kratos. But my voice isn't quite there yet. Try to keep your voice down if you're making calls within the school, won't you? This is like an etiquette thing in Japan. I mean, it's an etiquette thing everywhere, but it's treated more seriously in Japan. Like, people expect you not to have phone calls on, like, a train or a bus or anywhere that you're around other people. Don't want anyone else overhearing any personal information, after all. 
There are so many things we need to be careful about in this day and age. You wouldn't want to be doxxed, would you, Harry? Okay, so he, he's, he just overheard that phone call. Oh no, I'm in trouble. Hey, who are you? Uh, oh, they do teach things besides battling. You know what? I'm impressed. Good job. I, I guess? Sure, I'll learn about biology. Am I, am, does anyone get to walk around that, that giant library, or is it just for show? So I just get to decide when I want to attend classes at my leisure. There's no schedule. I'm, I'm not gonna, like, I'm not gonna have to pay for being tardy. Alright. Yep. Is, is this, is this what the classes are? They're tutorials. I can let Pokemon out. They can run around with me. I can talk to them. Letting your Pokemon out of its ball isn't such a great idea in some locations. Can anyone tell me where it is you shouldn't have your Pokemon walk along with you? Uh, inside buildings? That would be rude! We should not walk with our Pokemon indoors. Near the water is fine, even if it's a fire-type Pokemon. You know, survival of the fittest, things will work out. Only let them out. Only let them out outdoors. That's it. That was the whole class. Tutorials by any other name. Oh. Okay, this is how I get to places. I have to... I have to use a computer. I thought I would just walk there. What a weird way they did navigation in this place. You just have to select a room to go to. You can't just walk around the school. No, actually school kinda sucks. I'm always here to lend an ear. Maybe wondering why we could not have simply conversed earlier in the cafeteria. Let me assure you, there is a reason why I asked you to meet me here in my office. A friend of mine has a rather serious matter they would like to discuss with you. I'm afraid they aren't actually in this room with us. One moment, please. Speaking of, one moment, please. Mm. Worried my heaters might pick up on the mic. Hello, there she is. Hello. Are you Cassiopeia? My name is Professor Sada. I carry out Pokemon research within the Great Crater of Paldia. As, at a site known as Area Zero. Okay. I guess, I guess that seems like a logical place for Area Zero to be. In the, inside the crater.
The professor is in fact a graduate of our fine academy as well as a splendid researcher. She also is a caveman. Well, allow me to get straight to points. You are the student who travels with the unusual Pokemon Koridon, right? Yeah? I appreciate you being honest. Yep, you want my assistance. With what? Hello, Koridon. How good to see that you are well. It has been quite a while since we last met. Brother Para, Crydon was once in my care, you see. Its Pokeball was also originally mine. I assume you received it from a young man called Arvin. I am no longer in any position to be able to manage that Pokemon myself. This is what I would ask of you. Will you consider looking after Crydon on my on my behalf? My behalf? No. It is clear from the it is clear to see from the way Karidon reacts that you must be a kind trainer. No. <clears throat> Karidon has been greatly weakened and is currently incapable of battle. It can, however, take on a form specialized for mobility. In all likelihood, it will require some time to fully regain the capabilities it once had. I will provide you with my contact information, if you would please get out your phone. I'll be in regular contact going forward to keep tabs on your status. Okay, so I assume that she is at Area Zero. She's got like a lab out there. Weirdly technological music for the cave woman. I know she's not actually, like, a cave person, it's just the way her fashion sense. And the other guy is, like, future-themed, the, uh, the Violet Professor. I don't know what role the past and future plot, or motif, plays in the plot of this game yet. I just know that it exists. The Academy is always here to support you in any way we are able. I do hope you'll continue to enjoy your school life together with that Koridon. He says that Koridon as if there's more than one. I, we never really get an answer as to whether there are multiple legendaries within a single Pokemon world. Because usually it's like... Uh, Different legendaries come from a different dimension or something, different timeline or something. Yep. I got called to the office already. Mr. Jacques wanted me to show you the way to your room in the school dorms. Your very own private room! I just noticed there's a lot of dots on that map are all those locations that we can go to. ta 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 chan what -chan? Damn, this is nice! A studio like this cost you $1,500 in Vancouver. You must be pretty worn out from all this stuff happening on your very first day. Quick rest on a bed is all you need to get yourself and your Pokémon healthy again. I'll see you tomorrow when you've rested up. Then we can battle even more. Yeah, okay. No, I, I, I don't get to see the bathroom. You never get to see the bathrooms in RPGs like this. Man, I'm like, what, 11 years old? I got a, I got a hot plate in my room? Is that a dishwasher? Man, I am I am independent. I am living on the town.
Oh, oh, we're getting a time skip of several days. Time passes, and then at last the day arrives for your true adventure to begin. Thus starts the, the work study, or whatever that thing Goku said. I did... This school setting makes me, and the, and the music, and the ding-dongs, it makes me feel like I'm playing a visual novel. I'm back to Katawa Shoujo again. You have a knock. Alright. Yep, Goku's been waiting forever. What is this? Is this real text? I'll bet this isn't real text. No, I want to use my camera app. <laughs> they won't let me look at the text. I'm not allowed to see that texture up close. I'm, I'm sorry, the courtyard is at the top of the building? I thought a courtyard was a yard, out front, outside. What a weird decision that you can't, like, just walk around the school. Alright, time to have time I explained your independent study assignment. The theme will be a treasure hunt. I ask each of you to set out and travel the world, as one does to ten-year-olds in the Pokémon-verse. You've all learned much from within the walls of our fine academy. Now it's time to turn your eyes upon the wider world and deepen your understanding. Only three hours in. I said I was gonna hurry, I might have dawdled a little bit. Where will you travel and who will you meet? What will you achieve? Your Pokemon partners will be there to help you. <laughs> I, sometimes... I, it's not the default smile, it's one of the smile animations. <laughs> it looks very goofy on my character. That girl in the back looks like she's six. Yeah, just send them out into the world. They're ready. Let them run around all over the country. They got Pokemon. They'll be fine. Oh, hello. It's the... it's the... Pre-Evolved Legendary? I've seen this thing. I didn't know what it... I don't know what it is. But it obviously looks like an earlier version of Coridon. Speaking of which... What a, what a very similar... To, you, you remove the K, and it's just Rhydon. Like, that's a Pokémon already. We have a Rhydon. Remember, the great crater of Paldia is exceedingly dangerous. Entering it is a violation of school rules. All right. So everyone has one of these, but one of these motorcycle lizards. But I'm special. I have a special motorcycle lizard that nobody else has. Yep. Don't worry, we'll be fine. No one- kids don't die in the Pokémon universe. They don't get kidnapped by balloons and hypnotists. They don't suffer spine injuries to giant teddy bears. It's a very safe world, the world of Pokémon. Alright, what, what are we doing in this treasure hunt? We hunting for treasure?
Treasure hunt is a huge part of the Naranja Academy school year. Only isn't to get us all looking for some actual hidden treasure, necessarily. We're more just making our own adventures to see what experiences Paldia's got to offer. You could try to beat, beat Pokemon gyms, you could help out people in need, you could hunt for real capital T treasure if you wanted, even. So there's no direction, no goals. We're just being charged with going out and doing whatever we feel like for an ind indetermined amount of time. This is like the, the parts, uh, I think there's two parts in the original Dragon Ball where it just amounts to, uh, go out, Goku, go be homeless, wander the world, learn stuff. And he just does that twice. He just wanders aimlessly on his vague quest to become a better martial artist. And that's it. That's why that's what he's doing for two years. Alright, we gonna battle again? Alright, we can set our own waypoints on the map. A novel new feature, never before seen in video games. Yep, and there's a... Uh, He's mad that we're buddies with the school, the council president. All I did was suggest she check out the gyms. She's gonna have her hands full searching out Titan Pokemon with me. He doesn't have time to waste on something like chasing after the champion rank. That's okay. I'm the ace. I'm gonna do everything. Time is a construct. I, I can do everything in my unlimited amount of time. What a bizarre superpower that would be. H how do you even, like, quantify that? If, like, two months to them is infinite time for you. Yep, Operation Starfall. Let's just have this conversation in public again. Team Star is made up of five individual squads. Each one's got their own base. I need you to go to each base, all five of them, and beat the squad boss there. Okay, so I see what we're doing. We have a three-pronged story. We have the Gym Challenge, we have the Titan Pokemon, and we have the Team Star thing. And I'm still under the assumption that Cassiopeia is Penny. She's going to be our third, like, story character. Team Star's grunts might try to get in your way, but I'll be helping you out from a distance. Heads up, the, the bosses each specialize in a different Pokemon type. So, it's, ba it's the same, really, challenge, then. Is whether you're fighting the gyms or the members of Team Star, you're still just, like, taking on like, leader-like people who specialize in a Pokemon type. I gotta say, that doesn't seem as different as, uh, as the Titan Pokemon thing. I also wonder, do we really only have to do one of these to, like, progress the story? Do we... Can we finish a Pokemon game without doing the gym challenge? No, right? Team Star, those punks are a serious hazard. Are they? I gotta say, between Goku, uh, a mysterious person who hacked my phone... And Arvin, my least favorite character is Arvin. But I kind of want to do his challenge the most, because it's about catching Pokemon. Looking forward to seeing what you can pull off. Bye! Alright, yeah, what was that all about? I don't know. Anything dangerous, like fighting school bullies. But this would be so this would be so much easier to take seriously if it was just a real team of real criminals. Is is that too imitatable? 
but you don't want to encourage kids to, like, fight crime. Alright, she's gonna head to a gym and train up some Pokemon. But she's already, like, champion level. She's done all this before. So, in theory, she should be doing one of the, uh, uh, like, a totally different challenge. What's she doing this again for? She's just gonna go and catch up with all the gym leaders that she beat before. Alright. My big dream of tracking down the Herba Mystica. Once we get those herbs, I'll make you the absolute best sandwich you've had in your life. Did it just come out because you said sandwich? Ha ha ha! It's just, this, this is a world that revolves around... The whole world revolves around Pokemon, and each each region revolves around a second thing. And this one is sandwiches. Alright, the plus button is my Coridon Rhydon button. I can also jump and leap over obstacles. Man, whoever thought I'd be playing card games on motorcycles? It, it its tail rolls up to be the second wheel. Now it really looks like some kind of weird cyclas are. I'm sure that's a coincidence. Okay. So, given what I know about Area Zero, and the fact that all of the Pokémon there are, like, past or futurized versions of existing Pokémon, I'm gonna guess that these two legendaries, quote-unquote, are the past and future versions, the Area Zero versions of Cyclozar, the new Pokémon of, of this generation. It seems kind of obvious now that I'm thinking about it. Alright, don't get lost out east. Why, what's east? Is that the dangerous part of the map where all the high-level Pokemon are? Treasure hunt has finally begun. This special event is held by the Academy to encourage students to set out on their own and learn for themselves. You're free to decide where you want to go as you search for a treasure all your own. would be bloody raining. There are mass outbreaks occurring. Oh, it doesn't... Okay. The wheels don't spin. Yet. I'm sure they will. But that must make it so awkward for this thing to run with those things just hanging down. Item. Shiny. What's out here? There's some water. There's some Magikarps just hanging out. They're loving it. Having a great day in the rain. Like, for real, stairs would be a nightmare for this creature. Sue Bell's a nice item to have. Assuming there are any friendship evolutions. Probably aren't. They usually know better than to do that for new Pokemon, because friendship evolution sucks. It takes forever. Hello? Give a churro a smoochuro. Uh, yep, it's just, uh... It's just churros. It's just that this place is full of assorted foodstuffs. A variety of foodstuffs. 
that all have the same basic function. I don't know what it is yet, but... Something to do with affecting catch rates. Oh, there's a lock-on feature. I, I didn't know that. I should buy some balls. Do I still get Premier Balls? I do. I'm just gonna cover my bases. I'm gonna get up to uh, 50 balls. It's a good number to have. out here. Yep. That's me, Arvin. I was a bit worried about whether you'd not you, ne, whether or not you'd managed to set out yet. You did end up deciding to set out east, right? If so, you're not that far from the area where the stony cliff titan is said to make its lair. Stories say it clings to cliffs, practically becomes part of the stone, then attacks from above. Maybe don't be staring up overhead all the time looking for a titan. Only go tumbling off some cliff you didn't see. Again. You can call yourself a flying taxi to pick you up wherever you are. Some of those rocky areas are like a real maze, so try not to get lost, little buddy. Okay, you don't need to be condescending about it. Okay, we picnicking? Okay, sure. I was just handed a some pickles, some eggs, some ketchup, and olive oil. Is is this the camp of this game? You set up a picnic. Oh. All right. That's just a heal Pokemon. Oh, it's a Makuhita. And a Sphinx. And... Oh, a Happening. None of these things are probably that rare. But I don't know. Happening always seemed like... It was kind of... It was historically a pretty rare Pokemon. It's cool to just be able to see it in the wild like this. Got some decent special defense, so I can use Ember and Round, all right. I like happening. I, I like the the Chansey line. I kind of like to. Part of me wants to like use one. But it's also like, there's all these new Pokemon. I want to see what they are. I will probably be playing some of this off-stream. I won't progress the story, but I might, like, uh, train Pokemon or something. Or uh, catch more Pokemon, things like that. I don't know. I'm sure I'll be able to find things to occupy time with between streams, but uh, I am gonna try. I am gonna focus on this game, so I'll probably be streaming it some during the week as well. Uh, you know what? You don't need a nickname. You're good. You're perfect just the way you are. Enjoy being in a box. I got happeny dust. Is that just all the Pokemon have dust? I guess. Let's see. There's Spoink. There's 
You're not Dwebble. What are you? There's a mechanic. I think there's a mechanic where you can, like, catch Pokemon off guard by initiating a battle from behind. And I haven't been doing that. Is this like the Minecraft Pokemon? Obviously, it, obviously it's rock type. I don't know what other type it might be. I, I My guess was rock bug, but uh, if that were the case, fire would, be, would have been neutral against it. Oh, Nackley, because N-A-C-L is salt. It's a salt Pokemon. I just got that. It's a rock salt Pokemon. It was born in a layer of rock salt deep under the earth. This species was particularly treasured in the old days as they would share precious salt. Salt, you say. I don't know. That seems like a pretty salty name. Solo Q. I'm already at a point that I have too many new Pokemon than I can uh, that I can carry with me. I'm just I guess I'm just exploring. It's all right. I like exploring. It is perhaps the thing I enjoy most in video games. Pokemon or otherwise. Uh, wait, what? I'm so there's a reset sign? Oh, there's a cave? And I can just walk inside? It's not a different map or anything? I heard something. Oh, I can just... Okay. I thought that I would not be able to just walk off a cliff to my potential death, but boy, I sure can. What are you? Oh. Uh. Is that a gimme ghoul? I don't know if I was supposed to collect those or not. Maybe if I maybe if I see one and I recognize what it is and I throw a ball at it, I'll be able to catch it. Oh, it returned me up here. All right. Well, I guess I now have to fly. Battle or catch Pokemon to compile volumes in your Pokedex with fancier covers for Pokemon you've caught. Okay. Uh, what's... How, how do I fly? Again. Map. Is it... No, it's not up. Is it left? Left D-pad? No, that's my uniforms. How fly? is menu. Why? Okay. That's just the last button I checked. I don't know what that is, but I guess I'll go there. So what, what flies me? It's just a nondescript taxi flown by flying Pokemon? Oh, whoops. 
just heal real quick. Is her hair color a little different from the last one? Uh, no, I think it's the same. Use the B button to crouch. Oh, that's when... Uh, that That's how you get the... the catch a Pokemon off guard. I think when you do that, they, uh, they can't act their first turn. Hmm. There's free 15 Gimme Ghouls. Great Gimme Ghoul of the Gimsgale Gimme Ghoul. These load times. Okay, I, got, I caught the rock thing. I'm sure I'll fight you. I guess I should be doing more fights because I want to. Uh, I want to level up my team or evolve my minds. I remember you from. I think Sword Shield was Arakuda. Do I have anything good against water? I... Okay. Well, I have... Kilua. Based on the description of Terra... whatever... I am assuming that I will not get a recharge from this picnic person over here. That I do have to go to a, uh... A Pokemon Center. I'm having the problem that my dinosaur is like my only leveled Pokemon, so if I run into a water type, I'm in a kind of a bad spot. Okay, that was legit hilarious. Okay. I know it's not even that new of a term. It's just it feels weird to hear legit in a Pokemon game. Why is it so dark, though? Does... I guess in-game time does not necessarily relate to real-world time? Because it's not even 4 o'clock yet. Where am I going? Okay. I guess I'm on the right path. Uh... What is this? Like, I, I see that it's an icon. I wish it had, like, a, a key for what the icons meant. No? Okay. I guess I'll head to whatever this is and see what it is. Girl's got legs. She can take that fall. Uh, I probably shouldn't go down there. That's a Hariyama. He looks kind of surly. There's a Rookity. You know what? I'll catch a Rookity. Nope, sorry, that won't work. You gotta boost your stats first, little guy. Those markings on the map are raid battles. All, all of them? Or just the one that I was looking at as a raid battle? This Pokemon is brave and reckless. The white markings around Rookity's eyes intimidate, intimidate faint-hearted Pokemon. Okay, why? The 
the ones that look like types. Uh, okay, so that's a bug one. So these hexagonal ones are raid battles. Oh, I'm going way out there. Stony Cliff Titan. Okay. I guess that's where I should go. I don't know. It's an open world. I can go wherever I want. It's so easy to get distracted by mons. There's so many mons. So many items. So many worthless items. So Breath of the Wild just like determined that all open world that piano is open world music, right? I'm gonna I'm gonna sneak this item away from this Hariyama. Jump down. Come on. Yeah, do it, you coward. Alright, escape. Yeah, I got your item, sucker. I feel like it's gonna be real easy to accidentally bump into Pokemon while on this thing. Oh, Sphinx. Uh, what are you? You're new. Hi. There's a little, like, fire knight fella. Charcadet. Well, I already have a fire type, unfortunately. I am curious about him. Smog. Is he a poison type? Fire poison. That'd be an interesting combination, I guess. But we've had that before. Oh, it's Salazzle. Fire child. Burt Charcoal came to life and became a Pokemon. Okay, yeah, th that just happens. Possessing a fiery fighting spirit, Charcadet will battle even tough opponents. I'm gonna call him Bosch for the Red Ranger. Five. There's a ladder down there. What is that? Is that a Stantler? It is. That's a Stantler. There's a Skiddo? Litlio? There's a lot of stuff down here. Level 17. Alright. It's a little high, but I might finally get some real EXP. I feel like I'm leveling my party up very slowly. But I'm also just not, kind of not battling much. Get me a Skiddo. No? Is it too strong? Oh no, I'm worried now.
It kind of feels condescending for me to be giving orders from atop my steed. Oh, okay. I get incinerate. Finally, some good fucking moves. Till recently, people living in the mountains would ride on the backs of these Pokemon to traverse the mountain paths. I'm, I'm sorry, I don't have the creative energy to give every single Pokemon a nickname. There's too many. We got too many Pokemon now. No, I, I, I'm not nimble enough on that thing. Pick up item. Okay, run. I don't, there's too many things down here. I don't want to fight all of them. Where'd the Stantler go? There it is. You look like you'll be good experience. I'm gonna sneak around it. That's what I'll do. No, don't go. Don't leave. Wait! Come back! Very sneaky. This one hasn't spotted me yet. Did I do it? Hey, I did it! I get a free turn. Stantlers aren't... Stantlers aren't pushovers, though. I had a little bit of an uphill battle for this. Honestly, this would not even be worth it if not for the fact that uh, catching Mons... Gives you experience. Alright, what's my next best? Beagle, Kilua. Let's see if I use a long shot. Maybe I can paralyze it. Or maybe it'll just die in one hit. Also, very likely. Don't miss. Please don't miss. Man! Come on. Thundershock it. Alright, paralyzed. Still at half health. Why not teach your thing Thunder Wave? Eh, I'm lazy. I probably should. I should teach one. I should use my Thunder Wave TM. See, now that TMs are single use again, I'm paranoid. I'm like, oh, I gotta save this. I, I, I only spend it on someone I really want to give it to. Yeah, I, I know Fue Coco doesn't get DXP. Oh, it, it gets Nuzzle. Well, now I definitely don't have reason to give it Thunder Wave. Who gets mud shot? Uh, Lechonk. Is it attack or special? It's a, uh, okay. A slightly advantage to uh, physical. Toxic spikes. Not so useful in single player, but you know what? There are worse moves. This Pokemon apparently used to live in much harsher environments, and thus it once had stronger psychic powers than it does now. 
I like that Legends Arceus gave Stantler, like, something. There's like, there's like a special Stantler in that game, right? Like, a, 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 a <laughs> it is the Pokemon closest to our god, Stantler. Aside from maybe Type Null. Okay, well, Kilua has come in handy enough that I think he's earned a spot on the team. At least for now. How, how do I, like, rearrange? There we go. He will be my, my, my number two Mon. At least until I can get, like, a, a better catching Mon. I should probably go to, like, the, the plot place now. There's a rookity. There's an item. There's a Pokemon Center. There it is. Alright, Geronimo! What, there was a go back up command? It's a weird thing to include, but okay. I'm trying very hard not to get distracted by catching everything I see. Because I'll just be- I'll be playing this forever if I- if I do that. We will probably come back to the, the second stream, and I'll have just caught a whole bunch of new stuff. I probably shouldn't catch, like, new Pokemon, though. Like, the like, Gen 9 Pokemon. Because I want to keep my reactions for those on stream. Alright, for real now, where am I going? I'm going to the flag. And I, I'm actually going to Pathfind now. It's critical! Oh, Starly's in this game. A lot of birds. A lot of different generation birds. Let's see, Starly was Gen 4. I always forget which Gen... Fletch Fletchender, Fletchling was. Was it Gen 5? It was Gen 6. What was Gen 5? Oh, Gen 5 was, uh, the Pigeon, or Unpheasant, or whatever the the first form was. Which is weird, because we already had Pidgey, a Pigeon, in the first, well, Pigeon, quote-unquote. Pidgey was named after a Pigeon, but the Gen 5 bird was much more Pigeon-like. And made more sense taking place in New York. Get a psychic pig, spoink. What are you? That's probably... That's a raid battle. That's a water type. I can't see what it is from here, but... I can take a closer look, I guess. Is that a coughing? It's a jigglypuff. Uh, should I do this? Or should I not? I don't really want a Jigglypuff. I already have an Igglybuff. Alright, you know what? Let me just save my game. Uh-oh. Oh no, it's on top of me. They keep moving even when I'm saving. Let's see what these are. Let's let's check out this new new feature. Presumably new feature. So it's not necessarily a water type Pokemon. It's a Pokemon with the water Terra type. Okay. Level 14. I need to reduce its HP. To 
break through its transformation first. Also, it's water type, so I probably, yeah, shouldn't be using my fire dragon. Whoops. I also don't really want to switch to... He's gonna die if I switch. Let, let's let's sacrifice the, the bagel. It can take a hit. Act oh, wow, it actually can take a hit. Let, let's lick it. Let's see if we can paralyze the, uh, the jiggles. I'm just gonna lick it to death. Oh good, we got a paralysis. Alright, well now that it's paralyzed, I will be more willing to risk switching into Kilua. It's so tiny. What kind of creature is it even? It looks like a like a almost a bear, but not quite. I got one shot. Probably not gonna be enough. Especially since Jiggles has, yeah, special defense. Well, I broke through. I guess I can throw a ball now. Let's see if this works. Oh, great. Alright, well, I, I didn't really want a puff, but I guess I have a... I have a Water Terra big Jigglypuff now. I have a fake Marill. Nah, I, I won't call it fake Marill. I'll be nice. It can keep its name. Well, now I'm missing a bunch of health, though. How far did I go? Uh... Not too far. If I just go straight back there, it won't take long. I'm also basically not terrestrializing at all, because I don't want to waste it and have to go back to a Pokémon Center. Young Goose. I can't tell if the balls... I don't think the balls respawn, but the sparkling items are uh, randomly generated. Artisan. Dun 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 dun. Oh, he was doing the Pokemon Center theme. I see. Oh, it's she. That is a large and capable woman. Do I think anything good against Fairy? I have the I have the poison. I have Whooper. Uh, 
assuming the levels haven't changed too much, Little Red is very close to evolving. Oh, how did it get so low? I didn't even know- did my one hit do that? I really wasn't paying enough attention. It feels weird to not have a uh, transition after a Pokemon battle anymore. It, it just pulls back out to the, the overworld again. This is a smart trainer. This trainer fights, like, right in front of a Pokemon Center. That just seems like common courtesy to me. Why isn't everyone just hanging out here? It's just convenient. Oh, there's a profile. I can check. I take a profile picture. All right. I'll probably do that off off camera. I don't need to do that on stream. I need to defeat six trainers here for a prize. Alright, phone call. Hello? The Stony Cliff Titan likes to lurk somewhere in this rocky area. I had to look around, but I couldn't find any trace of it. Maybe it's way up high on a cliff or something. Nah, it's impossible. I don't think I'd be, you'd be hiding somewhere that tricky. Don't go falling off cliffs or anything trying to search it out. Hint, hint. Okay, may maybe that was like an actual hint. Like, you won't have to jump to your death to find this Pokemon. Okay, you're mighty. I, I will take you, I will take your word for that, Mr. Salaryman. Also, I see a Gimigul on that sign. Maybe I can actually catch this one. He looks a little bit like Roger Smith from the Big O. There's a lot of fairies I'm running into. Ha having a poison or seal type might be uh, beneficial. Speaking of... Have we had a Poison Steel type? I can't think of any off the top of my head. a critical hit. And I'm charmed now? That's not good. Does he have more poke? No, he just has the one. No, he has more than one. Alright. Well, maybe I can toxic spikes before I swap. Go. Uh, what would be good? What has a physical attack that's not dark? Uh, I got mud. Is mud shot? I think that's special. Actually, I'm not positive. Uh, nuzzle, struggle bug is not very effective. Ghost? Oh, because it's normal type. Wait. Jigglypuff is normal fairy? I don't remember what type Jigglypuff is. Yeah, well. 
I also am... Is Jigglypuff just normal type? I'm once again confusing myself, because it says fire is normally effective. Or is it fairy is not very effective against fire? Why do they add this stupid type? Nothing. Fire is neutral, a fairy. I don't want to use my special. I don't have like a hard-hitting physical attacker. Is the problem? I guess I'll just I'll use my fire type. Just because he's strong. All these annoying special defensive fairy types out and about in the world. And he's almost dead. Poison. I know Poison Tail would be super effective. I, uh... I swapped him out because he got, uh, he got charmed. But, uh, I guess that was no reason not to swap him back in again. I also have Toxic Spikes down if I could just get the, the... If I could get the Jigglypuff out, the next Pokemon would be Poison. There we go. That took way too long. Faint. Is that any use, single player? Power 30. Not really. Also, not really in the market for baby doll eyes. I'm good. Could have gotten rid of Tackle, but who cares? Yeah, get poisoned. Get toxic. I'm not even- I'm not paying attention. How high a level are this guy's Pokémon? I'm not doing much to him. Also, it's got leftovers? They're actually given, like, oh, oh, he's way- significantly higher level than me. That makes sense. I was gonna say, they're also giving trainers at this point in the game items like leftovers? What, a challenge? In my Pokémon game? Uh, what move did it use? Uh, you know what? Bagel. You can take a hit. Toxic will overpower leftovers eventually. I wish I got to keep that. I want him to be holding leftovers now. Unfortunately, I don't think it works that way. Center. I just went past it. There it is. Well, 
That was a surprisingly tough opponent, but thankfully he too was polite enough to be in walking distance of the Pokemon Center. Alright. I need to grab a drink real quick. Sometimes see Pokemon item icons on your map. Okay. Outbreaks return in this game. I don't remember if they were in Sword Shield. I, I remember Outbreaks being a feature in Sun Moon, but I think it had to do with like uh, like connecting to previous generations or something. I don't remember the details of how it worked. Hello, Spoink. Dumb little Pokemon. Sorry, Spoink fans. I'm going the wrong direction. Oh, wait, hold on. I can, I can jump on this thing, can't I? Yeah! Uh, so Stantlers, Litleo. This is this is this area again. What are you? Are you an evolved form? Do I want to fight you? How tough are you? Turn around. You don't see me. Nope, you don't see me. I'm sneaky. Oh, that noise. All right, fine. It's a level 13 cloth. Not very effective. I'm guessing it's some manner of rock type. Has rock throw. It's probably a good indication to not be using my uh, my fire lizard. I'm gonna try to catch it, so I'll paralyze it. It doesn't look similar enough to any of the Pokemon we've seen to be an evolution. If I if I hadn't had my speed lowered, I might, might have managed that. Some good no good noises on this mon. This mon sounds monstrous. Maybe I can lick it into paralysis. Mm. It's gonna it's gonna rock tomb my party to death because I, I keeps lowering my speed. Come on, paralyze. Be paralyzed by my spooky tongue. There we go. Good old floating Pokeball. Maybe it's just a big base form Pokemon. Maybe it's just like an Onyx kind of thing.
It's used Harden a few times, so it's gonna be pretty impervious to anything I do to it. I also don't want to poison it. I don't want to knock it out. I think I'm just gonna keep throwing balls and hope. Come on. Yes! Alright, what are you? Are you anything besides rock? It is pure rock, the ambush Pokemon. Hangs upside down from cliffs, waiting for prey, but Cloth can't remain in this position for long because its blood rushes to its head. It's just, it's a big rock crab. But it wasn't a crab. It was a rock lobster! What if it evolves? It doesn't seem like something that would evolve. But what do I know? Oh, here we go. Form 2. I've never seen this. It has a sombrero. It's Crocolore. The crom combina- Oh, I didn't get to read it! I, I press A to get past, like, the dark screen and to the text. I'm gonna call him Middle Red. It is not attractive, but then again, middle form Pokemon rarely are. Middle form starters, I should specify. The minus, but I did forget what button the Pokedex was. combination of Crocolore's fire energy and overflowing vitality has caused an egg-shaped fireball to appear on the Pokemon's head. Is that what that is? Is it gonna have, like, a bird on its head for the final evolution? I'm reminded of... there was a... One of the Ranma one half OVAs. It was just like a 30 minute episode about one of the characters having a phoenix egg stuck on his head and just being unremovable. And the bird being aggravating as shit. That was the episode, that was the plot. Hasty Mint. Alright, let's fight. I should probably put someone other than the Fire Croc in the start in the front of the party. Give someone else a chance to get uh, more EXP. I've been relying on the... Uh, the electric thing a lot, as well as Wooper. Those are the three that I'm mainly using. And sometimes the bagel, just because he can take a hit. Could use a water type. 
I haven't found any yet, but I also haven't really been around water much. I've been in this, like, desert area. I'm fully abusing my psychic abilities as a trainer who can flawlessly predict what my opponent is about to send out. Boy, you know it's a feature in these series that I don't miss and I hope never comes back? Roaming Pokemon. Just in any form. I don't want the ones that you have to encounter in the wild. I don't want the ones that you have to run into a certain number of times, and then they go to a place. They just... it always sucked. Uh, in theory, I guess it would be better now, since you see the Pokémon in the overworld. If it were just running around the world and you could chase it in real time. That would be way better than uh, how it worked in the old games. You just have to constantly keep checking the Pokédex... The, the Pokédex or the map or whatever you did. Special attack must be very bad if it did... Didn't two, two hit KO on a Bonsly? Oh, on, on the Whooper? Alright. Uh, wait, no, this isn't. What is this? I thought that was the thing, but it's not. Is this one of the. All around Paldia, you may spot gleaming crystals emitting brilliant beams of light. If you investigate, you, you'll be able to take on a Terra Raid battle and try to defeat a powerful Terra Pokemon. Okay. So the previous one was not a, a raid battle. These are the raid battles, is these glowing crystal things. It's the hat thing. I'm good. I'll do that off stream, or I'll come back in the future. I didn't really care about raid battles in Sword Shield, and I don't really care about them here. So, in theory, Elf. Will you be able to boot up and appear in my game world, or you have to be in, like... We have to explicitly start a group together for that to happen. So, like, you can only have four people maximum in the game world together at one time. In some ways, it's kind of a miss missed opportunity that Jack did not get uh, get Violet. He could be run around like an idiot while I'm playing through this. I guess that that only has so much appeal. It's, it's kind of similar to like the Hat and Time online multiplayer. That had an unlimited size, though. You'd have as many people as you wanted run around like idiots in your world. But, uh, you know, Game Freak, small indie studio. Not to be compared with a uh, AAA non-indie game, such as A Hat in Time. It's a big budget, not a Kickstarter game. Slash sarcasm. Alright, how are we going to get up to that thing? Oh, we just... okay. Wait, so I... do I need to jump off a cliff, or... I guess maybe I do. Maybe if I snuck up on it? Hello? 
Oh, I shouldn't- I should have had not have had my rock type out at the head for this. It's one of these stupid things again. Well, maybe I can burn it. Oh. Wow, this thing is weak. This thing might be weaker than the wild cloth that I fought earlier. I just hit it a few times. I might not even need to burn it. I won't be upset if, uh, if Red here goes down. He's, he's kind of over-leveled anyway. Okay. So Anger Shell is a little similar to Shell Smash, except it's a, an ability, not a move, and it activates at, like, half health or lower. Also made it easier for me to, to beat him. And down he goes. Yep. Alright, so it's pure- I know it's pure rock type now. I just need something to make. Do I want Saka, or do I want Goron? I'll try Saka, because I've been using him more. Maybe what he lacks in special attack, he has in speed. Maybe he'll be faster. Nope, he is not faster, that's okay. He did not use an attack move. Please be enough. Oh my god, that did nothing. That was pathetic. Wait, maybe that's scripted. Do I really gotta, like, initiate another battle with this thing? Where'd it go? Oh, hello. No, don't- why'd you throw out that far? I'll just- I'll drop on his head. Hello? Hello? Hey! Oh, no! I just fucking died! Oh, it's alright. I- I teleported away. Just like that, that, uh, pillar behind me teleported into existence. No cloth has any business being that big. Is it gonna be even stronger now? Okay, now is it- now it's a raid battle? Oh, and I got my electric thing out. Well, fortunately, my partner at least has a water type. He's like, he's, like, he's got a... Oh, I'm dead immediately. He's got like a chef gimmick. Arvin is just Gordon Ramsay. What can I do? I could, again, try to lick it into paralysis. Do I want to paralyze or do I want to attempt to poison? I don't think poison... Neither is very reliable, but uh, lick is at least slightly more so. Really counting on Shelter due to my lack of a water type. Why is the bread dog like the best defensive Pokemon I have? Finally paralyzed. And now it is extra vulnerable. 
I really wish they had streamlined this by now. There's a few moves that affect all stats. You just, like, show them all at once. You don't need to go through every one individually. Maybe I can even flinch it. Oh, not, not that turn I didn't. Saka, you're up. Give him the mud. I didn't even need to do anything. What a bro move. Giving our partner a shelter with the first Titan being a rock Titan. Alright, I'll take Covet. I wonder if any attacks changed to any significant degree between uh, Sword Shield and this game. There's usually a couple that get uh, get updates. These Titan Pokemon are yeesh! I sure don't like having something so tough out to get me. Bet somewhere in here there's more of that Herba Mystica the Titan was eating. Let's have a look around before it comes back. He's looking for ingredients that are raw, bold, understated. No way. There it is. The explicitly magic leaf. Can, can we grow more? Like we should be preserving this, right? Oh, okay. There's five of them because of like, like five flavors. The sweet Herba Mystica is good for gut health. Helps aid digestion. It's great for stomach aches too. When you want to stimulate the old appetite. Now if I can just get him to eat some. Alright. We're, we're getting some, uh... We're getting some Gordon cooking. Hoya! Hwacha! Those don't, okay, those don't sound like very Gordon things to say. Also, I don't know how much, uh, how much Gordon Ramsay specializes in sandwiches. Oh. Okay, so we can do the gym path and get real badges, or we can do the Arvin path and get fake badges. He, we can get pity badges because we helped him get find his thing. I just made this out of cardboard. You can have it if you want. And then we enjoy a nice sandwich together. That, that's the Arvin path. Yep. Come on, give him the sandwich. This is mine. All right. Illusion of choice. I could have taken, like, a bite out of it. Oh, really? All right. I got half the sandwich. That's fine. I'm sorry, is this- is this actually how I power up Coridon with the power of sandwiches?
Yep, I, I have to I have to restore its power with the almighty power of sandwich. It'll come in super handy for that treasure hunt assignment we've got. That's what I bet. Yep, legendary sandwiches. Four Michelin stars. What a conveniently shaped rock to have been in this cave. All right, we gotta find out the other four herbs. I guess logically I should just like do all three paths because they'll all scale and level. I feel a little bit under leveled right now. All right, coast is clear. Does he have the future Pokemon? Does he have the other led the other version legendary? All right, it's Sata. I detect the Coridon has regained some of its original power. It will now be able to dash at high speeds. Unga. I can now have him dash ahead by pressing the left stick. Watch out for trees when dashing. If you strike a tree, Pokemon lurking up among the branches will fall down. Alright. Seek out our path. This music reminds me of uh, the Professor from Ape Escape. Actually, it just reminds me of Ape Escape music in general. How dash? I just hold forward? I guess that was dashing. Well, I don't know where the first gym necessarily is. I, You know, I can look at the map. I feel like I should go to an area with water Pokemon, because I don't got none of those. And I could probably use some. Why is there just, like, a Magikarp hanging out there? What is that? Is there something special about that Magikarp? Uh, let's see, I could go to this, the sea, there's this river around here. Uh, how can I... God, I wish I knew what all of these symbols were. Okay, here we go. Poison Crew. Uh, Steel Titan. I, 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 do I want to fight Iono yet? I, I don't think I do. I don't think I, I don't think I want to deal with her yet. Let's see, Grass type. This grass-type user and artist is a first stop for many... Okay. Well, I was going to go there just because, you know, I have a type advantage, but uh, if he's the first gym, I guess that makes even more sense. I do like that there are multiple, uh, multiple storylines. I guess. Gives me enough to do. Uh, what's my team like? I oh, they're they're healed. Okay. Let's see if I can f finish off some trainers on this route and get the prize from uh, that guy. Okay, Toxel is back. That was it, huh?
Wait, what are you? Oh, wait, no, I want you. Is that Gimmigool? No, it's Nimble. Okay. Please do not kill. Did not kill. Looks like some manner of bug. Maybe it's a water type. Probably not. Alright, what is it? It is a bug, a grasshopper. Has its third set of legs folded up. When it's in a tough spot, this Pokemon jumps over 30 feet using the strength of its legs. Okay. Not immediately planning on any new party members unless they're water. Hello, crab. Boy, he just came charging at me. Do you care if I tell you where the optional amulet coin is? Uh, if you want to. I don't particularly see a need for me to have an amulet coin. I don't think I've given any of my Pokemon hold items yet. Just a can of lemonade sitting out. It's fine. It's probably safe. Where is the Pokemon Center? Sure, it was nearby. I remember this guy. This person. What are you? You look like a Splatoon character. Laura the Artist. Is that what she is? Oh no, Vivalon's in this game. In Medali from the Pokemon League rep. In Medali. Oh, okay. I, I haven't been to Medali yet. Is that where the grass gym is? Oh, it's got a light screen up and my special attack went down. This sucks. Hate Vivalon. I mean, I hate it because there's a bunch of, like, obtuse to get forms of it to fill out the forms in the decks, but... This battle is not helping my opinion of it. a normal gym. So, let's see. There's eight types for the gyms. Plus five for the team star members. That's 13. So we still don't have every everyone covered. Our, does the remaining five cover the, uh, the Titan Pokemon? Dig. Not that that... I guess that's not a field move anymore. Okay, see you later, elf.
feeling better. What is that? Is it a rookity? Yeah, it's a rookity. Alright, Pokemon Center. Item. It's so easy to get distracted in this game. A worthless item. I don't remember you. Have you always been here? Okay. Just throw a few slices of ham in my backpack. So I think, yeah, I remember coming this way. So the Pokemon Center is down this direction. I just want to get the reward from the guy before I, uh, I move on to a new, new area. This is a very big game world. I'm pleasantly surprised by that, especially after uh, Sword and Shield's pretty underwhelming quote-unquote open world experience. Alright, I got a shell bell. Alright. Where is... I want to fly. I believe the normal gym was around here. Here. I think it was like there or something. It sure, I'll go to the lighthouse. Hello? Oh, it's Scuttlebug. Get, no, the ball items must respawn. Because I keep finding them in areas that I've definitely been through and, like, picked clean before. It just seems to be, like, an incredible abundance of low-level generic items that just pop up to give you reason to, uh... reason to explore a little bit. Where am I going? Is that the place? Uh... Can I, like... How, how do I see... How do I get the details? Is, that? is there, like, swarms? There's a couple of these Pokemon appearing in groups of five. And I wonder if that's significant in some way. Oh, Psyduck. Uh, Psyduck's a water type, but he's he's an old water type. I want a new, fresh water type. Okay, 
here's Los Platos. Uh... Okay, so that's the grass gym. This is, I think, the Team Star poison thing? I don't know how to get... I don't know how I had the details on the map before, and now I don't. I don't know what changed. That's usually not a problem with Nintendo games. They're very careful about making everything very intuitive. What are you? Oh, it's Oracorio again. Bonsley. Y'all got any water types? Hop it. Oh, you can just... You can just find random TMs sitting out? I, maybe that was a yellow ball. It didn't look like one. Okay. Here's the entrance to the town. So... I can't go this way because there's a cliff here. Oh no, they're beating up that poor Lechonk. Uh oh. Uh, what did I run into? It's, oh. It's a scatter bug. Is that, okay, I just realized, that's, that's why, in order to make it battle music, they just took the, like, overworld theme and added a bass guitar. That's what they did. Ball. There's a place I could go down to the water. I would like to at least get find my way to get to the next town before I stop. It would seem that there's not a lot of places you can go from here because they want to force you to, like, enter the city before you explore. So I'll probably have to exit out the east, east side again. Oh, he can't swim. Darn. There's a surskit, but I don't really want a surskit. That's a magic card. Wait, can he swim? No. Psyduck, Spweasel. Coridon cannot, cannot swim. Tragic. Psyduck's Magikarps. There's a whole lot of nothing out here. And there's a lot of water Pokemon. Some would argue an overabundance of water Pokemon in the Pokemon franchise. But boy, I'm sure not finding them. Okay, well, here we are. Here's the... Why are the details showing up now? Oh, because it's the only the, the places with... exclamation points... have more information on them. Okay, there's the psy there's psychic. Where's the, where's the normal one that Elf was talking about? There's the grass one, which was my next plan to go to. Fire. Electric. Can't be that far. Fighting.
Ice. Montevera. It was like, uh, Medali. That's in the middle of water, so that can't be it. The False Dragon Titan? Oh, there it is. Larry. Yeah, that's my favorite gym leader. Larry. Uh, oops, too far. I don't want to zoom out that much. So I would have to go all the way around there to get to the normal place. I think I'll, I'll go for the grass one first. If I need to grind cash off stream, then I'll, uh, I'll do so. All right, I'm going south to how far south? No, I'm not going south. I want to go west. Okay. North, west. I'm smart. I know directions. I'm so smart, I didn't bother to set it as my destination. Wait, I'm up here now? I went too far east. Now I need to go south. Open world games, you always this hard to navigate? I'm gonna be real, I've never played one. I played Skyrim for, like, 20 minutes. Didn't like it. Stopped. Have not played Breath of the Wild yet. What else is there? Th those are kind of, like, the big ones. Those are the ones that everyone is expected to have played. Haven't played Sonic Frontiers. That just came out. Treasure Hunt is so much fun. Alright. Let us fight, chubby classmate. No fresh-faced kid is gonna beat me. Christine. Oh, it's Ghastly. Oh, Ghastly was weird in 3D. It didn't look that weird in, uh, in Sword Shield. It's like, uh, it, it's smoke is too solid. It needs to be more translucent. What is Tackle now? Tackle is 40. It went from 35 up to 50 in uh, Gen 5. And then they brought it back down again pretty much immediately. I think Gen 6 it was back down, it was down to 40. I feel like it's the move that has probably changed th the most. Not in terms of, like, the biggest jump. The move they've been most indecisive with. Leech Life has been nothing but, uh, but buffed. Like, significantly. And it's gone from 20 base power all the way up to, it's like, 80 now. Oh, come on. Kilua, please. 
You've been tortured. You can take worse than this. Stop flinching. Okay, paralyzed. Oh, come on. Part of me wonders how much of this is, uh, like, the game actually being difficult versus me just not leveling my Pokemon enough. I, I'm not getting, like, super out-leveled. So, uh, I guess I've kept more or less on the path that I've been expected to be on. My Pokedex has been... What, why was my Pokedex updated? What happened? Oh, with because of Murkrow and Ghastly? I like Murkrow and Ghastly. Shame I need, like, convoluted means to evolve either of them. Unless that's changed. Oh, what is, what is that? Is that Nimble? Okay, that's Nimble. I thought maybe it was a Gimme Ghoul. Get out of here, lobster crab. Probably not a good idea to put my injured electric bear on the front of the party, but, uh... I keep forgetting to move my Pokemon around. I don't want the crocodile to be there forever. What are you? It's, uh, it's an Afro bird. Is this the bird of this gen? Squawkabilly. Like, like Rockabilly, but, but Squawk? I get it. How strong is it? It's strong. Okay, it still did its job. Kilua managed to paralyze it with static. Good job, Kilua. Oh, there's also a red Oracorio over there. It's not the most uh, type effective thing to send out, but I would rather level up this than uh, than crocodile. Oh, that did so little. Why is what well, Wooper is so weak? What a pathetic Pokemon this is. Maybe Rockabilly is just that strong. Sorry, Squawkabilly. And now I can't use Poison Tail. Oh no, it lets me do it since I've already submitted the move. My trainer always looks worried. Like, she's not sure about what's going to happen next. Alright, Squawkabilly. Normal flying. These Squawkabilly are hot-headed, and their fighting style is vicious. They'll leap within reach of their foes to engage in close combat. Okay, so there are different... Is Are those the things flying the taxis? There's different colors of it. I wonder if it evolves. Kind of want to get that Oracorio, but I need to heal first. Okay, there's a few of them. They don't seem that that rare. Artisan. Hey, bird. Bird, 
Where'd you go? Oh, it was Murkrow. I want a Murkrow. I should probably be sneaking up on Pokemon more. I'm really not doing that. It's also very polite of all the surrounding Pokemon to, like, never interfere when we're having a battle. I appreciate that. The Pokemon of Paldia are very courteous. Hopefully this does not KO. Okay, good, it did not. Murkrow's got decent stats. Not amazing stats, but, uh... It was once an evolutionless Pokemon, so... Has to be able to at least hold its own a little bit. I don't think I realized when I was a kid that the, uh, the top of its head was supposed to be like a hat. I thought it was just like a cool black bird. And you know what? I kind of liked it better that way. Honchkrow is fine. I just I, I would have liked a, an evolution that was just like uh, like a, a spooky raven without the cartoony mob boss gimmick. All right, so I think depending on how long I want to go, I could take out the grass gym. And I might be able to do the first Team Star base. Why, why are there bases for, like, a school clique all over the region? Also, holy, the bird does not want to go in ball. I'm afraid to KO it if I, if I attack too much, though. It's okay, Wooper is pathetic and, in fact, is dead, so. I could do one, uh... I could do one gym and one base. If I didn't dawdle. I was aiming for five hours. I could go a little longer. About time. Feared and loathed by many, it is believed to bring misfortune to all those who see it at night. I would give it a rude nickname because of that battle, but I will refrain. Because I still like Murkrow, even if they give me grief. Oh, there's a green one. Hello. I'll catch... I, again, really not taking advantage of the sneaking up on Pokemon mechanic. I'm gonna... I'm gonna die immediately. Please paralyze. Okay, I got the chance to paralyze. I should be good. I'll swap out. I, I want I want my mons to get experience. Now the yellow plumage was a normal flying, so I wonder if there's any like there probably isn't a type difference to the different colors. I wonder if there's a stat difference, or if it is just purely aesthetic. I 
I also... I like to catch everything in Pokeballs, if I can, because it just, it looks nicer to have everything in the PC in the same ki kind of ball. I don't like having a smattering of different balls, and unfortunately, you cannot change Amon's ball once you've captured it. Okay, yeah, it's just uh, different color, different entry. There's a shop that I want to catch. Oh, I got a heal, but if I do, will it despawn? Ah, I don't care about you. All right, you know what? I can I can go out and catch Mons off stream. I, I don't need to worry about this. I don't need to stop everything if I see a, a possibly rare Mon. Oh, there's a Growlithe. Hello, Growlithe. And there's another Shuppet right there. All right. This what it's it's Dutch. It's a very very stereotypical like little Dutch town. What is this? Can I buy anything? I can. I it, it has the classic Mon Pokemon vending machine options. All right. Where's the gym? There's the Pokemon Center. Fortunately, I have a map for this. Of course, it's the windmill. Why would it be anything else in Little Dutch Town? Oh, it's a statue of a Sunflora. I was kind of confused for a second. I don't think I don't think Sunflora is that big, but I don't know for sure. I don't remember if they were in Sword and Shield. All right. Well, because this is the oh, okay. I just have to press Y to make it the lead. Because this is the uh, the grass gym, I will relent and I will put Fire Croc in first. Hello, Nimona. Yeah, I'll 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 do the badges. I have to pass a certain challenge. Okay. So we're doing the same as the as Sword Shield. Every gym has its own special little test. I guess that was kind of always the case. It was just in the form of like puzzles before. All right. Yes. Put my name on the registrar. It's a Sunflora hide and seek. Yep, there's there's art. Since Sunflora, we we gather Sunflora. Oh, I don't know what Sunflora look like. So I need to. I'm I'm on a hide and seek hunt for Sunflora. Now, is this like any Sunflora? Like, does the statue count, or is this real Sunflora? I hope I don't have to battle 10 Sunflora. Alright. I look after the Artisan Gym Sunflora. Let's play Sunflora Hide and Seek. It's, it's usually there's battling in, like, pre-gym leader challenges, but I don't know. 
We're breaking from the we're breaking from the the formula today. This is like a child's Easter egg hunt. I walk two feet and there's just an egg there. Okay. I thought maybe I'd have to bank some of them. I, I'm worried about them, like, not following me anymore. But, uh, that does not appear to be the case. Look, look at them run! They look like, uh, they look like, uh, like cartoon characters. It looks like, uh, what was the, the fake-out at the start of a series of unfortunate events. That's what these sunflores and their dainty little runs remind me of. You know, canonically, this should be harder to do during the day. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm lucky. I'm doing this at night. They got no energy. They're sunflowers. Sun's not up. Also, the, uh, the frame rate, as you can plainly see, appears to be suffering from my posse of sunflowers. There's Sun Kern. A few Sun Kern hanging out up there. Tooth. The tooth sculptures. Get get out of the way. I'm trying to read the sculpture. What am I gonna do with all these sunflowers? Oh my god, they actually have collision and they are so in the way. With their stuff, <laughs> the frame rates make them look like a stop motion Christmas special. It's crossed the threshold of being annoying and now it's just funny. Come on, Sunflores, let's go save Christmas. I'm gonna get trapped by these sunflowers. Their collision is gonna, like, lock me behind this lake or something. Okay, no, I got past. <laughs> One of them just, like, vanished into the water. It'll be fine. Don't worry about it. I wonder if there's more than ten. Or if it is, it's just the ten. I've found them pretty easily so far. Let me just steal this public property. What a bunch of clumsy sun flora, dropping their frames everywhere. All right, here we go. Witness the parade. Let me zoom out. Yeah. Look at all them sunflowers. Let's get a low camera angle. Alright, I passed with flying colors. 
Now, is it just a gym battle, or is there more? What are you guys doing? Brassius is unbelievable. What, this isn't... This isn't Brassius' gym, is it? Brassius sounds like a Steel-type trainer. Or maybe, is this Brassius? I don't know. Uh, heal, uh, save, that's what I want. Alright. I've earned the right to challenge the gym leader. It is Brassius. Should have been named Gracius. I guess that was too obvious. Look at all them loading screens. There we go. Alright, hello, greetings. Is that necessary? That seems unsafe. They, they can't even have a smooth fade in. The fade to white. He's an artist specializing in grass type Pokemon. We're back to the, uh... Okay, it's the gym, the gym theme also, I think that's come back before. The chanting is new. Oh, those... I... The, the bags under his eyes. That's what I was trying to describe. Bags is the word I was looking for. I feel you, man. It's like a much... Uh, a, a lower key version of the, uh, the gym battle theme in Sword Shield. With, like, the huge crowd chants. Also, my man's got a Karama Rose Whip. Where'd he get that from? Terrestrializing does seem like a much less, like, dominant... A much less dominating mechanic than uh, Dynamax. Even though Dynamax was not really that powerful, at least in the campaign. Let's see, Bug Bite is 60, Struggle Bug is 50. Oh, it's special, though. I guess I'll take both. Smoliv. Is, is it an olive? Is it a small olive? Is that what smoliv is? That sounds like a made-up word that uh, Gavin Free would invent. Okay, well, bye, Smoliv. The two of my favorite silly Brits is uh, Carl Pilkington and Gavin Free. Carl doesn't really make up words, though. Wait, Soda Wudu, that's not a plant, that's cheating. You can't fool me. Uh, what, what am I, what am I gonna do to Soda Wudu? All I have is my stupid... I have my, my weak, pathetic whooper that does, like, no damage. You know what? I can, uh... I can use Kalua with Dig. It's physical. It's not going to be super powerful, but, uh... You know what? It's still probably better than Wooper. When does Wooper evolve? I want to say originally it was level 20. I hope it ha Why does Sudowoodoo also look felt? Most of the Pokemon look fine, and then a couple of them... ...just don't. Oh, he did it! He has a Grass-type Terra Sudowoodoo. It finally gets to be a tree, just like it always wanted. That didn't even occur to me. Well, now Ground-type will be uh, neutral. So I probably should have stuck with, uh, with my fire. <laughs> they, 
they added the millennial woo to the to the battle music. That's okay. I don't hate it as much as some people do. I think it's fun. I'll give him a dig. I don't care too much if Kilua goes down. So what is Trailblaze? I'm assuming that's a grass attack. Oh, that's not very effective. Is it pure grass now? I thought, okay, I thought Terra, like, uh, added the other type to its existing type, but no, it completely changes it. It is now full tree, this Sudawoodle. You know what? Alright, I will I will bring out middle red. If he goes down, I'll uh, I'll let Wooper finish. That'll be my plan. Is this a returning theme? This sounds like a remix of a gym of a battle theme that we've had in the past, but I can't place which gen it was. I like it. I like this theme. I'm so happy for Sudawudu that it finally got to be a tree. Alright, play rough. Uh, oh, it finally knows a fairy move. That's great. But it's a it's an attacker, not a special attacker, so... It doesn't need... Why do I have tackle and covet? Avant-garde! I know what that means. I listen to Diablo Swing Orchestra. What artistic tactics you employ. It doesn't matter who you fight or what they stand for. They're always impressed by you. You're tra you are the perfect trainer in every Pokemon game. You embody everyone's ideals to the maximum. Alright, I heard about this. <laughs> Me and my dumb fake smile. You take a you take a selfie with every gym leader after you beat them. I look so awkward with this mouth type. Okay, if I possess one gym badge, it'll be easier to catch Pokemon up to level 25. And those Pokemon will also follow your commands. TM020. Oh, we're not. We have hundreds of TMs. User attacks suddenly as if leaping out from tall grass. Also boosts its speed stat. I'll we'll begin on a new piece at once. You must excuse me. I like him. It was easy! I, I misread for a second, and I thought she said yes. I would not put it past them for them to make Nimona say yes. Although I hope she does not. After all, the path to getting stronger usually has some strange stops and detours. Speaking of strange places, I wonder what Arvin's up to. Anyway, catch you later! I hope you know I'm going to want a battle if we run into each other. That raises a question. These games always have, like, uh, like rival encounters throughout. 
I wonder how they're going to manage that by, well, keeping it, you know, open world. Do they just have it, like, outside of, maybe they have an encounter outside of every gym or Pokemon Center or something. And it's just uh, scripted to happen if you have X number of badges. Uh, oh, look, I just happen to be in the area, too. All right, where's the closest... There's the fire crew. You know what? Let's go raid the fire crew. They're, they're right next door. Which probably means that they're the first... Uh, they're the first intended ones for you to take down. She is a very, is a very forceful person. This, this, this bad guy, this team member. Team Galactic Sailor Mars. Where's the Pokemon Center? I never found a water type either. Let me heal up real quick. I want to go look at that pond. And then I will go to the fire crew place. Beat her up. And then I'll stop for the day. This might end up being like a six hour stream. feels weird having a Pokemon Center nurse with that light of hair. It's not right. It's supposed to be darker. It's supposed to be red. Where's Nurse Joy? What did you do to her? I guess the only times it has been Nurse Joy proper was uh, Pokemon Yellow and I think Let's Go Pikachu? Let's Go Eevee? Had that style of Pokemon Center attendance? Are there wild Pokemon in the swimming pool? Please say yes. No? Just people in the swimming pool? Darn. Are there any other bodies of water that- well, there's the river down there. Whatever this is, this does isn't going to have any Pokemon. Oh, that's the... that's the... Those are the docks. Or the, the, the gardens that I walked through. I'm really hurting for a water type, and going to the fire place without one seems like a bad idea. I just want to get to the gardens. There they are. Alright. Are there Pokemon in these waters? I'm gonna guess no, but I don't know. Maybe I'll be surprised. This one's big. No. Alright. The river, then. I'll go to the northern river. That's what I'll do. Or the sea. There's a sea down there. I swear it'll be quick. What are you? Oh, that's the Oracorio again. Oh, the sea is farther away than I thought. There's the Tauros. I don't think I have the water. I think uh, Violet has the water Tauros. I have a. Uh, I have like fighting type Tauros. And then there's the... There's, actually, there's a third Tauros that is uh, in both versions. So maybe those were that. There's the Chonk. Are you Shinx? No, that's... Oh, that's Komala. Okay. I wasn't expecting to see him. Teddy Ursa... 
Uh, what, are, what did I run into? Nope. Oh, that was level 21. Can I run? Oh, no! My electric thing is so weak. It can't take any hits. Okay, water. What's... it's... okay. It's a sheer cliff. I cannot access the water. What are you? That's the... that's the salt thing. There's Verizion. I don't think I want to mess with Tauros. I see a beach. That's a good sign. Let me just, uh... Yeah, no fall damage. There's a bird way down there. There's Litlio. What is that? What are you? I don't know what you are, but you're not a water type, so I'll save you for later. Alisand? Or the, the pre-evolution? There's one of those things. Alright, accessible water. Give me some water mons. What do you got for me? Oh, it's the it's the it's it's the penis. Gyarados? I don't want a Gyarados though. There's that. I don't remember its name, but it's a defensive, like, water type. Shellos. Do I want... Alright. Do I have to sneak up on it? Will it not come out if it sees me? There we go. Now, is this a water type, is the question. I don't actually know. Can I please, like, initiate a battle with one? How, how do? No, get out of here, Buizel. Turn the other way. What is that? What are you? Oh, is that, the uh, that thing. I would like to get the, the, the worm, the, the wiglet, that's its name. Ah! Please? There we go. I don't know if it's a water type. I don't know what this thing is. It's level 20, so I should be able to take it at least. It's not ground type. Okay, so it is presumably water. Let, let me see if I can nab it. Give me a wiglet. I'm, I'm gonna add a wiglet to my team. It's named Wiglet. It looks like a Diglet, but it is a completely different Pokemon. It has nothing to do with Diglet. That's what that's all I know about this thing. All right, Lechonk wants to learn Dig. Is it physical or it's, it's it's a physical attacker? Do I want to get rid of Mudshot for it? Yeah, I'll get rid of Mudshot. I do have to replace something. Garden Eel. This Pokemon can pick up the scent of a Veluza just over 65 feet away and will hide itself in the sand. It's four pounds. Uh, what am I going to name this female Wiglet?
I didn't have anything clever. It's an eel. It's Unagi. It doesn't seem like something that would evolve, but I don't know if it will evolve. I feel like the bug will hopefully evolve soon. I'll replace Beagle for now. Beagle's the highest level among the Pokemon that I don't care about. And I got Wiglet Sand as well. Alright. Well, since I'm here and I see this new thing, I want to catch this... Oh, that's... That's probably the evolution of uh, the pig. What was the other new thing that I saw? I saw like a, like a, a, a black ram or something. I'm going to catch one of those, and then I'll go to the, the fire-type place. That's the pig. And Pokemon around here are docile. Or at least easy to evade. I appreciate that. Oh, it's Dunsparce, my boy! Aw. I gotta sneak up on Dunsparce. Also, it's easy to forget how big Dunsparce are. You think of the you tend to think of them as these very small, you know, unintimidating things. Maybe it was just the pigs that I was seeing. I thought it was something else. Alright. There's a Pokemon Center. I don't know what part of the town the Pokemon Center was in. I think it's this one. Alright, I have a water type. Now watch it be completely useless offensively. Wiglet looks like a very gimmicky Pokemon, and I just don't know what its gimmick is. You know what I haven't done yet? I haven't done any, like, move relearning. Let me check summary. Let me, uh. Where's the moves? Alright. It is a physical attacker. Okay, I can rearrange moves. Aqua Jet is its probably its best. Water Pulse is stronger, but it's a special move. Can I can I like move relearn anything? Change moves. Remember moves. Uh water gun. Sand Attack and Mud Slap. It's not terrible. I, I like having those. One of them, at least. Don't necessarily need Wrap. Let me see what TMs are available. I'm gonna prepare this freshly caught Pokemon for immediate use. Agility, Mud Slap. Uh, I can almost craft. Well, I don't want. I don't want to protect. Low kick. Oh, it tells me what is is not craftable. Uh, endure. So I can only craft moves that I don't want. All right. What TMs do I have? Maybe I got some. Maybe I got a good one or two. I haven't been paying that close attention to my uh, my TMs. Trailblaze is 50. Hello, Elf. Uh, I am impressed by the size of the world. I'm aiming to do one of each thing. I, wa I want to take out the uh, fire team place, and then I will stop the stream. Probably going to end at like six hours. I, I caught a Wiglet. Air Cutter, Draining Kiss. I got some decent moves, just nothing can especially learn them.
Snarl. I'm teach that to my fire guy. He's a special attacker, so a bite is not uh, not amazing on him. I'll wait on Trailblaze. I uh, end up with with a Grass Pokemon, or at some point that I'm not going to a fire territory. Y'all like the frames on that windmill? That is a smooth windmill. All right, where am I going? I am going to there. Away! Hi-ho, Silver! There, oh, there's a hedge maze that I completely missed before now, somehow. Is there anything in the hedge maze? Okay. Is there anything to steal in your secret base, or is it just... that's it? Okay. Good talk. Oh, here's something. Poison tail? Oh, I already know that. My, uh, my worthless whooper has that. I want whooper to be... maybe... are, are other whoopers good? Like, is Wooper usually this bad, or do I just get, like, a really bad Wooper? I can make it. Yes! There's a white... Uh, hawk Squawkabilly. That's it. What is that? Is that a pastry? No, it's the salt Pokemon again. Crocolore actually learned Snarl at 24. Oh, oh well. Hello, Poe Collector. Uh, it, sure, I guess. I'm officially a member of Operation Starfall. Hello? Does this Operation Starfall of yours have room for one more member? I am one of the cool kids. Just look at my hair and my orange pants. The name's Clive. How long have you been spying on us? No need to get your hackles raised. I'm a pal of our mutual friend here. Isn't that right? It, yeah. We're got talking about going up against Team Star. This is like the opposite of what you want to do with a bad guy team. Like, you introduce them as a complete joke. As like, just uh, some kids in a, in a high school. Not even a high school. And now we're acting like they're the, the king of shit mountain. This is the big, this is the big deal. Going to these places and taking these guys out. I mean, I guess that can work, but we we kind of jumped. It's a little bit silly, this plot line. Alright. We need to oust these bosses from their roles. We gotta get to all five squads and, and, and beat them up. And then we're going to get to the captain of Team Star, who is a megalomaniacal, like, super genius with billions of dollars trying to use the power of a legendary Pokemon to create a new world. Right? That's how this goes? Yeah, 
we have to follow the code. There's a team that has code follow. Someone challenges one of the squad bosses to a battle. They have no choice but to accept. And if they happen to lose that battle, they must forfeit their role as boss altogether. Oh, it's kind of like the 13 court guard squads in Bleach. Yeah, their declarations of war. All of Team Star knows we're looking for a fight. So if we defeat all the bosses, the rest of the team crumbles with no one left to lead them. It's a solid plan, but not without wrinkles. Each base has a bunch of Pokemon inside to fend off intruders, and the bases themselves are a considerable size. Your garden variety trainer would be overrun by these high school preppies before they got anywhere near the boss. I just want to give my trainer a hug and tell her everything's going to be okay. I have a history with Team Star. That means I can't operate out in the open. I'll back you up from afar. I don't trust you yet, mysterious but extremely cool stranger. You just stay back and monitor. Clive. It's pretty cool, that Clive. Clive's got nice legs. I mean, he should. He's a hip, young, like, 18 to 20 year old. Maybe student, maybe just graduated. Definitely not an old man in student shorts. But uh, I'm just saying, he rocks them. Yep, I can't be here. This base belongs to Team Star. You know, clear out real quick, like, I'll have to come at you in self-defense, you get me? Nah, you don't scare me. That is extremely how-do-you-do, fellow kids. I, I kind of like his character, though, because he's a school he's a school official. He can't get involved, like, fighting students. It's the equivalent of, like, some kid is stirring up shit on my school bus, so I put on a disguise to bully them. Obviously, it's, it'd be a horrible thing to do in real life, but it's a video game, so it's funny. Alright, let me try out Wiglet. Wiglet, my freshly caught Pokémon, is this already the strongest party member. I wonder if I might be underleveled for this. Uh, Elf. Is there... Which is the, the first Team Star base that you're expected to do? I assumed it was this one because it's right next to the first gym. The dark one. Okay. Houndour, unfortunately for me, has a, uh, a typing that makes the fairy type not super effective. There are two gem- so what are the- I, I just did the grass one. What was the other one that I could have theoretically done first? Yeah, big pig. Vulnerability turn. The bug one. Oh no! Okay. For a second, I thought the Hound Hour used Dig. I confused myself. Well, I, get, I will try my best at this Team Star base, and if I, I can't cut it, I guess I'll just have to stop. Level 14, Peter. This isn't good. Uh, I'm, you know what? I'm going for it. Give him the bite. Well, rest in peace, Peter Parker. 
You tried. Let me send in Sack of Shit, the world's weakest whooper. Is he going down? He's going down, yes sir. Absolutely worthless. Alright, I didn't want to use red. But I'm quickly running out of options. Is this even his only Pokemon? Uh, it is, okay. Don't flinch. Okay. I'm sure the leader will be weaker than him. I'm sure losing four of my team members to the guard is not a sign that I should not be here. You're crazy strong. Thanks. Yeah, this is my name. Fear it. Thanks for the terrible news! Excuse me while I book it back to the rest of my crew! Do, do, do you get it? Because, because Hasta la Vista is, is Spanish, and, and this is Spain, but they added a star to the end, so, so it's Hasta la Vista. That, that's the joke. Thought I'd give you some back- yeah, actually, I could have used the backup, actually. Is that you, Charlos? It's Charlos, the Char Cadet. Fwoom. It's very wise words. Fwoom. Alright. Does this mysterious Clive person just, like, know every Pokemon ever? Alright, I dealt with the guard. It's the Sheeter Squad? Their boss, Mila, is the best all-rounder of the team. She fixes any and every problem thrown her way. Though her methods are very heavy-handed. Declaration of War must have made her blood boil. Yeah. Take out all the grunts. Are they as strong as that last one? Ring the bell on the gates when you're ready to take on this operation. Is this like a, something I have to do all at once? Where's the closest healing station? I'm hurting. Uh, there it is. Oh good, it's within eyesight. And there's a bunch of Tauros in the way. Oh, there's a, there's a Cyclozar. I want it, but I got no Pokemon. I'm gonna go for it. This is a bad idea. It's faster than me, probably because it is a motorcycle wizard. Is it a dragon type? I guess I could've, if it's dragon, I could've used fairy. Hopefully this does not kill it. Let me disarm it. With my lovely voice. Okay. Can I choose to ride this around like everyone else? I don't really want to ride like a legendary creature. I, I don't want to feel too special. My character has self-esteem issues. Alright, Cyclozar scales. It's Dragon Normal. Apparently Cyclozar has been allowing people to ride on its back since ancient times. Depictions of this have been found in 10,000 year old murals. What is the vi what is the Violet version? Pokedex entry. Apparently this Pokemon will allow people to ride its back for another 10,000 years. A time traveler came back and told us this. Oh, hey, great!
Well, this is probably the least interesting thing to evolve because I've already seen one. Okay, so the thing that I thought was a ram was the middle form. And the things that we saw in the field were the third form. I guess. Well, there's not another Pokedex entry. I, I guess it, it's not there because we haven't uh, we haven't seen the third form in battle. Where's my boxes? Boxes. There we go. Cyclozar is pretty good. Does it evolve? I'm mostly focused on filling out the Pokedex, so I, I want to keep things on my party that will evolve into new things. I'm not going to worry about the pig because I've now seen the third form. Let's see what I could add. I am assuming Squawkabilly does not evolve. I could add Nimble. I already have a bug, though. I could add the salt thing. I don't have a rock type. I can add the salt thing or I can add the, the bagel dog. I'll add solo, salty solo cue. Ah, man. You keep putting Pokemon I want in front of me. I need to go to the poke. I shouldn't be catching a Dunsparce. I need to go to the Pokemon Center. But it's right there, and it's a fucking Dunsparce. It has a new evolution. I heard that. People were really excited about it. I'm excited about it. Uh, how is that? Uh, 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 what what is Dunsparce's evolution method? It's probably a weird one. It creates mazes in dark locations. When spotted, it flees into the ground by digging with its tail. Almost five feet. Just needs to level up going Hyper Drill, which it learns at 32. Okay. I like how they make an attempt to have, like, Pokemon New Evolutions make canonical sense. Like, oh, well, it didn't evolve in any of the previous generations because the move Hyper Drill didn't exist then. Like, they always take care to do that in some way. For no reason other than, like, maintaining some sense of continuity. But it doesn't really work because you still have the problem of, like, oh, all these gens were happening in tandem. We just, we just didn't mention all the other ones. Conveniently. It's a weird half-assed approach. Probably the most obvious example is the incense items. Like, they couldn't just have you breed a Marill to get a Zoomarill in Gen 3, because that would create the question of, well, why didn't that work in Gen 2? Oh, because you need these incense items to breed all the new babies, and the incense items didn't exist before. Oh, only the first three. I, why do I only get three Pokemon? What? What is that? Okay. Well, uh, what three am, am I gonna bring? Wooper is pretty useless. Do I want to bring Wooper or do I want to bring Kilua? What nature is Saka? He's shit nature.
uh, increased speed, lower attack. Timid by nature. And he's a... Okay, yeah, that's pretty bad because he's a physical attacker. Also, his... Uh, his main, his stab ground move is special, I think. It isn't, uh, isn't poison, uh, mud shot special? Alright. Let's attempt this. Let's see how badly this goes. However, whether I win or lose this, this will be the last thing of the stream. Me and Clive about to take on Team Star... Team Star has a unique way of doing battle. Why why are we playing their game? Why why do we agree to this? Okay, we're, we're doing multi multi Pokemon battles. But we get to heal in the middle. If you can defeat 30 of our Pokemon in the next 10 minutes? That's that's a lot of mons. Okay. Send your Pokemon out with R button. Oh, it's like an auto battle? Okay. This this is weird. Well, it's, uh, Unagi has a type advantage. Uh-oh, no, Kilua. Don't, don't you... Bad. Recall. Return. Kilua. How, how bring back? I barely understand what's happening. Go on, get him. Attack. Worm, emerge. Attack! Worm! Do something! Uh, okay, Torkoals. Get the Torkoals. Unagi's doing great. You just, you bring a water type to this, you're, you're golden. Red's not doing quite as good, but uh, I, I can go heal if I need to. Okay, red's down. Unagi, it's all you. You can do it. You can take on the entire thing. I don't, why do I even need the other ones? Unagi is going to solo 30 Team Star Pokemon. Uh-oh, Houndour. Okay, it's fine. It can take it. What? It had a very weak showing in an actual battle, but in this, in these stupid terms, it's great. It has no problem with these things. What, I got seven whole minutes left? You know what? Recall, I am gonna go heal before I continue. Because I, I don't know if it's gonna, like, throw me into the boss fight immediately. Now, get out of here. Hey, y'all having a good time? I'm gonna kick you out of this place. Where is he? I thought Clive was here. Where's Clive? Clive? No, I don't want to quit. I want to. I, I want to heal. Uh, I I thought he said that he would like heal me. Where's he at? Uh-oh. 
I lost Clive. Well, all right. I hope that he heals me before I have to fight the boss. There we go. Clive, you wouldn't abandon me like this, would you? Okay. Why does a high schooler own this? She looks like, uh, she looks like a Monster High character. This looks like a character made to sell dolls. All right, prepare to get messed up. I'm I'm the bad guy. I'm gonna I'm gonna attack. Oh, yeah. But do I get heals? Did Clive abandon me? Am I gonna go into this with just like a half health eel and that's it? Because no shit, I'm gonna lose if that happens. Okay, I, I'm full health. It's sunlight. That's not good. And I have all... Okay. I have all six Pokemon for the battle. I just... I have the three for the, the, the first part. Well, let me... Uh, let me mud slap it a bit. Hello, Spectrum. Well, rest in peace, Unagi. There goes my ace. Uh, well, I lowered its accuracy a little bit. Kilua cannot take a hit. And I don't have anything else in great shape. I guess I'll just have to try to overpower it. That's level 27. Okay. Well, I can also benefit from the uh, sunny day. I lowered its accuracy. That'll help. I don't think, does the sun fade, or is it just out forever because Tor Torkoal was still in the fight? She also has three Pokemon. This is just her first. I probably should have terrestalized earlier. My trainer looks so sad all the time. Alright, put on your stupid candles and use a bigger fire attack. Okay, sunlight faded. What's my healing stuff like? Why have I not been using these? I have so many healing items. I have auto heal turned on. I guess it just hasn't been working. I thought I had it turned on. Also, how long does uh, does Terra civilization last? The whole fight? I don't actually know how much. Uh, Terra boosts the the move by. But at least that's Torkoal down. What else you got? Revavroom. Yeah, get out your one-liners. <laughs> In your stupid speaker car. Skeeter Starmo- I'm sorry, I'm fighting the car? 
I'm fighting the car. Wait, that that's a Pokemon. Incinerate is not very effective. It's, uh... I guess it's a fire type. That's a Pokemon! You auto-heal by pressing minus on your mons in the pause menu. Oh, okay. Well, that's not automatic, though. That's a, that's a stupid name, auto-heal. I can't burn it. Incinerate is 60. 90 with stab. A little... I'm gonna guess like 120, so back to like 60 if it's not very effective. Round is also 60. What, what does Snarl do? Good lower special attack. Uh-oh. I don't like that it has that move. Can't use it very much. I, I might be able to get it just by out healing. And it has speed boost because it's a giant fucking car. Uh-oh. I, what are these games anymore? Oh, this is this is just gonna be a slog. I could revive my worm, but I don't think it could take a hit. It's just gonna go down immediately. I have revives. I have 15 revives. What a slog to end this on. It's my fault. I'm, I'm way under leveled for this place, but... I think Worm can survive because the sun isn't up now. Well, hopefully. It only has 35 hit points. What a pathetic creature. And you're telling me it's not related to Diglett? Come on. Uh-oh, that's not good. I don't want to get screeched. Blazing Torque sounds like a, uh... Sounds like a physical move. So that's probably gonna... Yeah, it's gonna hurt. Snarl is doing basically nothing. It's pretty much max speed by now. Do I let do I let red go down or just keep chipping at it? I'll I'll let him go down. I, I have 14 revives. I can revive them later if I really need to. And she's still got another one after this. All right, I'm I'm putting my money on you a second time, worm. Should I go full offensive or should I try to kind of want a lower accuracy. That seems like a, a, a long-term plan. This is going to be a long-term battle, no matter what happens. I don't think she's going to switch out her, like, car. I think she's going to keep the, keep the, the car out. Aqua Jet having priority. That's good. Uh, I think it's a special attacker, though, and the car... I would assume because it's a car, has some physical defenses. Let's see how much Aqua Jet does. Not much. And down goes the worm. I got two mud slaps. Do I have anything else that can, uh... I can nuzzle it. I can par- oh, well, Paralysis, it's still probably fast enough even paralyzed to outspeed me, but, uh... Anything helps. Except it's not gonna miss this time. It's gonna hit, and it's gonna annihilate me. Saka, you're up.
Do I try it? It has to be a steel type, right? Fire steel? Well, no, because fire was not very effective, so it can't be a steel type. I'm gonna plan ahead. I'm doing a long con. I'm gonna Toxic Spikes for the next Pokemon. And I'm going to attempt to poison this one. If and when sack of shit goes down. And there it goes. Alright, time to start reviving. She only has two po- I thought she had three Pokemon. Makes sense, I guess. It would be weird for her to bring this one out second and then end on a third different one. Okay, who do I want to revive? Uh, the worm has so many useful moves right now. I might just have to keep bringing the worm back. It keeps. Why does it use Swift? It's so. There is no reason it should have used Swift instead of its uh, its other move, its fire move. Unless it's finally running out, run out of PP. That would be great for me. I don't know how many PP Blazing Torque has. Let's struggle about lower special attacks. Okay, so no nothing, nothing this bug can do will be useful. It was just, uh, it bought, bought some time. Probably should have used that turn on another heal. Another revive. I am going to, I'm going to keep mud slapping. If she's not going to swap out Pokemon, I got, I got a lower accuracy. I got to make it minimum, all the way down to minus six. We going long. This is the final boss of the stream. She has Swift. That's probably why she's using Swift, is because her accuracy is so low. Fortunately, it does, like, no damage. Because she has no special attack. Her special attack is minimum between overheat and my lowering it. And now her accuracy is going to be minimum as well. Alright. Accuracy is minimum. I'm I'm I want to play this very safe. I'm going to revive red as insurance. If she hits, if she does land that fire move on Worm, Worm is down again. There he goes. On one hand, this is more interesting than if I'd gone to the, the one I was supposed to do first. On the other hand, man, this is just a slog. We're gonna win it, though. We're... As strange as it seems, we're in a good spot. All it has left is, uh... Its only damaging move is that fire thing, and it can barely hit it. Alright, what have I got? Incinerate is not very effective. I can whittle it down with Snarl. Even this will be a very slow fight, but... I still technically have the advantage of Red here. I, I will win the... I will win the Crawl. Snarl can miss. Can't round miss. 
Accuracy 95. Now, they both can miss. It is very slightly more accurate. I haven't been keeping track of uh, what stage its special attack is at. How is a car not steel type? Hello, Darian. Uh, you are right at the end of it. I've gone longer than I planned to. But, uh, this is, this is the final boss of the stream. A, f a giant fucking car. Miss Screech. Okay, good. I would be insulted if it landed Screech on me with minimum accuracy. If I get lucky, I could confuse it, too. Come on, confuse. Confuse, you piece of shit! Don't hit. Whew. I'm about to dick slap this car into submission. It doesn't want to. It doesn't want to confuse. We got this. All right, G G. That's got to be an insulting way. To, to get beaten as a star leader. If it's any consolation, I really admire your sense of style. About oh wait, <laughs> we're doing this. Are you fucking serious? We're getting an anime just defeated backstory. Really? This ought to be enough to power the Starmobile and get the hu We don't need this in a Pokemon game! Shut it with the snide comments. You can be such an annoying twerp. Ortega. So th this is when we see our other Team Star leaders. I'm sorry, am I to believe that that lady on the right is in high school? She's like a pro- Aerie. She's like a, a, a professional wrestler. She's bigger than a female professional wrestler. You're just jealous of how cute Melly is. She just puts on a surly attitude so they'll stop picking on her. It's okay, she's a real softy on the inside. It's not really even a backstory. It's a conversation. There's a big boss. Obviously, there's a big boss. And, uh, there's an Operation Star. Not just Operation Starfall. They contacted all the bullies in the school. There's a, there's a sad plot brewing about how Team Star are actually the good guys, and we're the assholes. That wiglet of yours really let us have it. That's right, it did. What was that walk animation? I'm sorry, we get we get badges from the bad guys. What is this selfie? Is is this her like like twisting my wrist? This doesn't feel like an achievement. Okay, I got a TM from the bad guys. I'm not giving these to you. I'm giving these to your wiglet. Your big, throbbing, wet... That's a good Pokemon, wiglet. <laughs> her stupid... Her stupid boots bring it home, too. <laughs> Yeah, 
Yep, have, there's a Pokemon I'd like you to see. Have have this cool little fire fella. You can be you can be reformed with the power of friendship. Look at this little guy. Isn't he cute? He came to this base looking for you. He's very attached to you. I used to play with him every day back when I was still going to school. I can tell what he's thinking just by looking at the way his flames move. You know why he wanted to visit you? I used to be a good person. I can still be a good person. Stay in school, kids. That's the moral of this game. That's that's this what we're trying to that's what it's trying to get you to do. Something something bases plot against the academy. I'm sorry if I'm not re reading every single line of dialogue. I've been streaming this for six hours, and this dialogue is so fucking predictable. It's in a way that is, like, atypical for a Pokemon game, though. This isn't something I expect to see in Pokemon. This is something I expect to see in, like, My Hero Academia. Operation Star. Not Operation Starfall. This is the first I'm hearing of it. You mean you delinquents actually have an agenda? Okay. Yes, it's very sad. I'm sure we'll learn more of the uh, tragic backstory of the members of Team Star when we confront the next one. And presumably the first one we were supposed to fight. A dark was apparently the easiest. I don't know if that was number two, number three. I'm gonna guess two. Yep, she she gave us her star badge. There's so many types of badges. I can't believe the 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 food guy just fucking whipped one up out of out of like cardboard and craft materials on the spot. Like here, have this for helping me. Oh, I get paid for this. That That's cool. I have $5,000 for that fight. And I can make more TMs. Did she hack the TM machines, too? Right, an extra reward. Someone from my supply unit will be there soon to give you some materials for making TMs. Oh, someone... A mysterious person who is definitely not the hacker. Hello. I'm Penny from the supply unit. You probably don't remember, but you got me out of a tight spot by the school stairs. Who are you? Yeah. I never leave an impression on people. I kind of decided early that I was going to give her a Michael Jackson voice because Namona! But uh, we don't see she and uh, she and Nimone don't seem to be in the same place very often, so maybe that's not gonna work. Anyway, we got uh, we got materials from Penny, toothpaste hair, and Cassiopeia. Wink, wink. Said we'll get more rewards each time we take out a star base. Yeah, I'm I'm pretty cool. Four more bosses left. Yeah, thanks. Bye. Alright. Always double sa always double save, kids. And with that, we end our first six hour plus Pokemon stream. I'm making progress. I got through one of each thing today. Uh, I think if I'm more focused and not getting distracted by shinies and uh, Pokemon and shiny Pokemon, I will be able to get more things done in another stream of this. Probably won't be as long, but I will try to play it during the week because uh, I want to. I want to move through this game pretty quickly. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next stream.
Adios. That's Spanish. <laughs>